I don't think y'all could just hear me. Um, I think I had the music, the uh, mic muted. So I don't know if you can hear me or not. So if not, welcome to the Time Tom Show, Uncut and Unfiltered Podcast. Um, I don't think y'all could just hear me. Uh, okay, so I know you can hear me there, and I need to do this. Hold on just a second. Well, let's see. There you are. All right. So little technical difficulties, and that's not a good sign right out the gate. But we're going to have Bubba Pollard on the show here in about 27 minutes. He's going to uh, be on. We're going to kind of slow play this out a little bit uh, up until that time. We've got some special guests going to join the show with us tonight here on the Time Time Uncut and Unfiltered podcast. <clears throat> Over in the chat box, you can uh, drop your um, comments and things like that off but in the interim time, uh, for the guests that are going to join that's watching us, you can go ahead and just click the link, hop in, in here, and we'll uh, get you on. But I uh, wanted to show you just a quick little video. Let's see if I can get it pulled up here. Um, maybe not. Let's see. Let's see here. Had some pretty cool um, video clips that we had done. And let's see. Can I do this? Uh, give me just a second here, folks. <clears throat> the uh, mic. All right, Let's see if this is going to come through. If it does, and I'll do it. All right, here you go. So we kind of put together a little side clip here of uh, some people that were there. That was the group that kind of came up to Richmond, Virginia this past weekend to see Bubba Pollard uh, live uh, in his Xfinity debut. Uh, Bubba had a great uh, outing, 37th to 6th uh, group photo there of people that came up to see it. Uh, there's the car that was there for him. Um, that he raced, Joey, Ryan Paul, and the guys there, Brooke, AY, guy that's been with him for a very, very long time. AY was there, um, Worley, uh, Noah Gragson, uh, stopped by to say hello. There goes the man, TJ, Action Jackson, Pollard's family, and Pollard's family again. There, uh, there's Joey again, Mr. Um, JR. Owner of Ream, the gentleman that uh, was a sponsor on the car, having a night there. We've got these photos from 9D Creative. They were nice enough to uh, put us uh, together this for us. Molly does a great job. Uh, there goes the Culpepper family. Uh, Mr. Money giving his son-in-law a little last-minute advice. <clears throat> the legend Andrea was there, Miss Pollard, and some others there. But, uh, let's see if I can get this to play. I don't know if you can hear this. So I hope you can. Um, let's see. And there's there. But, uh, let's see if I can get this to play. I don't know if you can hear this. So I hope you can. There. Um, let's see. And there's there. But, uh, let's see if I can get this to play. I don't know if you can hear this. So I hope you can. There. Yeah. So I'm gonna uh, play that again, actually. <clears throat> A little celebration after the race there. Um, Bob Pollard coming on the um, – and, and leave it to the beer being spilled on the stage by uh, some of Pollard's uh, crew, I'm sure. Here's a – And here's a video that uh, was also put together by 9D Creative. <clears throat> 
for whatever reason, we are having some audio, so we'll try to get that fixed before we uh, kind of get too far into the uh, show here. But we've got some folks that are going to join us. Let's see if we've got any of those that have joined us. If the guys that uh, are in there, go ahead and hop in. We'll uh, get this party started. Bubble Pollard will be joining us here about uh, 7.30 Central Time, 8.30 Eastern Time. Um <clears throat> And uh, hopefully have it here, trying to get uh, see if some guys are going to join in. So you got to understand, folks, first of all, I want to put a disclaimer out there that <clears throat> anything that is said or done on this show tonight, uh, I cannot be held responsible for. Uh, some of these guys are uh, crew members of Bubba Pollard, have been with Bubba for a very long time. And uh, they're going to come on the show tonight and kind of give a breakdown of uh, their time with Bubba Pollard and what they have uh, remembered of Bubba Pollard and the good time. So just kind of get out there. Don't know what they're going to talk about. I have a feeling there's going to be some that's going to have some amazing backdrops and props. And there is really no telling, to be honest with you guys. So um, we're going to have those guys starting to come on here, getting a lot of people to join the show. And um no We're doubt. just going to go ahead and have the first two on. It's Joey and Hunter. Go ahead and turn that volume down, guys. <laughs> on the backdrop there. Can you hear me? Y'all got me? I, I can hear you. Can you hear me? We got you now. We got you. We got right. you. Kind of scoot in a little bit. I know you guys like each other. I got to yeah, get you. We, we really do. <laughs> I mean, uh, we've got Joe Joey on the show here, the Time Time uh, Uncutting Unfiltered Podcast. Uh, guys, introduce yourself. Where are you calling in from? Uh, we're uh, we're in the big city of the ALV. We're in Alvin, Alvin, Georgia. When you start losing yep. cell phone service, you found. <laughs> Well, I'm starting to wonder how you got cell phone service tonight. I know it. We finally got Wi-Fi after 10 years. Really? Well, that's nice. Well, folks, it, oh, yeah. look at, first of all, look at these two here. This is, I mean, what an epic picture from you two this past weekend. I mean, you guys hanging out, representing the the uh, bud of King of Beers, Good Ranch, Bubble Pollard t-shirt. I think y'all had a good time this past weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was it was a blast. It was a very unforgettable experience, to say the least. Um, well, what do you think yeah, about we, your boy we, Bubba Pollard, thirty seventh to six, and just really said, you know what, you NASCAR boys, uh, I'm a little badass. Well, after uh, after practice, spirits was high, man. Like we, like we were we were we were pumped. But uh, I'll be straight honest. This is the uncut, unfiltered. Like after <laughs> after qualifying, I was fixing to take my shirt off. <laughs> like were, uh, you were about to have a Sunny Pollard. I was oh, yeah. I was fixing to have a Sunny Pollard. I didn't know him, and uh, <laughs> and uh, but no, racing is very humbling. And uh, I knew we could get it done. It just uh, he just had his work cut out for him. Yeah, he. Um, I mean. Went out there first couple of laps, popped the top, went to uh, went to P one on the board. And I'm thinking, man, this is gonna be good. He gets out of there and qualifying, yeah, and he sells her off into down one and two. And I didn't know no better. I thought he was a bandolero driver, learning how to drive. Yeah. Well, we uh, it was kind of a joke among all of us. Like before we even went up there, if uh, Bubba Pollard starts in the top forty, you know we're gonna we're gonna celebrate. We're gonna we're gonna drink some beer. God dang! After qualifying, it kept on going lower and lower and lower. I didn't think we was gonna get to drink beer. <laughs> well, lucky there was only 30, uh, 36 in the class. So we, 30, 30, 30, 30, we were safe. We were safe. Yeah, yeah. Well, look. I was wondering. Well, look here. I, I got a question. Uh, which one of you guys are responsible for Kevin Harvick? This is this guy right here. What, what, what's the Kevin Harvick behind you, Hunter? Well, I'm not really responsible for it. This is a uh, 
So yeah, you are. He's my idol. Okay. NASCAR idol. I love Kevin. Yeah. Bush so, beer, baby. Bush beer. You see it behind us. Are you uh, drinking some Bush yeah. beer tonight? Yeah, so we got him. Okay, I got you. Yeah, I got you. I like it. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. 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 So we get to core deal, and uh, Bubba is talking to a guy that looks like Evan Harvey to me on pit road. And uh, next thing you know, he said, yeah, that, that was Kevin Harvick. And I was like, man, that was cool. And I never thought I'd see even see him again. I talk, I talk a little junk about, you know, I drove a Bush beer car. You can see the hood behind me. <laughs> and uh, we go out to eat later that night. And uh, Harvick, uh, Harvick was in the restaurant. <laughs> and they all talked on me to go over there and talk to him. And I said, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going not gonna to tell him the story, nothing like that. And Bubba bought him some shots, the whole table, and they were from Joey. And uh, so they all took them. And then he comes up and says the shots are from Joey. We got to meet him. Cool deal. It was a really cool deal. And then uh, they asked him about the uh, about the Bush car. And I said I, w- I wasn't going to say anything because he's my hero. I was talking junk earlier, you know. <laughs> and then he came up and he asked, he said, hey, what would you say? And I said, man, I said, there's only there's only room in this town for one Bush beer driver. <laughs> And that's your boy. And uh, Harvick come back with a good thing I'm returning. Oh, yeah. He did say a good thing I'm returning. Yeah, you, that, was, that was cool. That was cool. That dude. was your Kevin Harvick moment and telling him basically get out of town. That was my moment. That was my moment. Yeah, I live. What there. um, Hunter, tell me about your racing days. I hear you got a little racing experience under your belt. I got a little bit. I, I, I'm, I'm retired. You know, Semi-retired uh, or full retired? No, well, semi, I, semi. I don't know, man. Uh, well, he has, hey, he, he has to take two hours a night for his night nightly FaceTime video he has to do. Yes, for sure. Uh, for sure. Hour and 58 minutes. Yeah. Hour he wears a face mask. <laughs> yeah, hour and 58 minutes. No, like, I enjoy racing. It's just the cost of everything. Uh, it's just so through the roof. I mean, bar, bar tabs ain't much cheaper, but. No, uh, especially. Really. And going above and him and hang out and. Uh, it's a pretty cool deal, man. So I enjoy doing what, that. What um talk talk about the uh, the bar life after the after the race? What uh, uh you know I'm, I'm I heard, I heard you got I heard you guys I heard you guys got down like you won. Uh, we did. Yeah, we, we did I mean, win. I mean, <laughs> we did. I think we did win. <laughs> not to get sidetracked and all, but like Mark brought up a good point. It's like. If Bubba finishes second anywhere in the country, he sucks. Yeah. Like Sonny Pollard said, you suck. Oh, yeah. Bubba yeah. rolls off a sixth place, which is a fifth loser in Sonny's eyes, and and he won the Daytona 500. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. And I have to say, he – um, I think a lot of it had to do with nerves in his qualifying, you know what I mean? Uh, it's got to. Just, you know it had, had to. Yeah. Um, you know, everybody's gonna say, Oh, well, could have, should have, would have. You don't know what would have happened. Well, you're probably right, but I bet you if he'd have qualified in the top 10, he'd have probably had a good chance of winning that race for yeah, sure. For yeah. sure. I mean, look I at his lap 15. Yeah, I mean, he was running 14, he was right there with the leaders on lap time. It was just he had nowhere to go. So, yeah. you know, well, tell me, look, y'all got some Bubble Pollard stories, and just so everybody knows, here in about uh, 15 minutes, Bubble Pollard will be joining the show tonight. Uh, he's going to join us. He's 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 uh, also we've got a NASCAR driver going to join the show, an active NASCAR Cup driver uh, going to join the show to congratulate him as well. Uh, so that'll be interesting. Also, let let me just give a shout out just real quick uh, to a couple of folks. But the first one is, um, did y'all see that girl that broke all necks on pit road this weekend? Which one? Which was well, there was a lot of them, but Reagan. Okay, okay. Yeah. I, you know, I I may know who you're talking about. I'm not real sure. Yeah, she um she, she's just tuned in. So tell Reagan hello. She's back down in Tampa. Reagan, hello. Reagan, hello. Yeah. Um. Uh. I forgot to tell Molly uh that we're live. She wanted to uh, promote it or whatever on Sonoria uh, Raceway. Uh, got a lot of people watching. Um, but um, Bubble's going to be on here in about 15 minutes. But give me a Bubble Pollard story. Uh, and this is no, this no, no, needs no. to be rated somewhat PG thirteen. Yeah, somewhat PG. So that uh PG. that PG. knocks about uh sixteen hundred yeah. stories out of the equation. <laughs> so 
Um, let me think about it. Okay, I got one. I got one. All right. So this was uh, circa 2010 area. Um, High school. Me, well, there's a couple stories. There's a couple stories. So me and Bubba was uh, coming back from lunch one day. It was the middle of summer. And if you rode with Bubba Pollard, he likes to play on his phone a lot mm-hmm. while driving. And um, we was riding down the road. I'm in the passenger seat, and he had an F-150. And I was like, Bubba. Trash can, trash can. We're getting closer to this trash can. We're the right sides are in like off the road. And I was like, trash can. He has never, he has not even paid attention to me. About this time, he hits his trash can going about 60 miles an hour. KOs this thing like it's gone. Tail light, I mean, headlights, trash can wheels falling off. Like we're in like this town, right? Like there's people literally on their porches. He turns instantly blood red, and he gets out, whatever. He sees these people people on the porch, and he could not talk. He was like, my, 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 daddy, 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 daddy owns a trash can company. I'll get you to your trash can. I can get you a new trash can. Oh, Larry. God, God. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. <laughs> but so he had a stutter all the way down, huh? No, oh, yeah, no doubt. That's a hard one to follow up right there. Well, we've got a uh, got a guy that's going to join it's the show. Y'all met Tom. Tom Ryan's joining the show tonight, guys. Okay. What's up, Tom? What's up, Tom? Good to see everybody. Hey, Tyler, Good to see we everybody. Might, uh, we got a special guest. We got a special guest that just pulled up, Tyler. Let's hear it. Who, who we got? He's gonna get right here in the middle, Tyler. Come on. <laughs> oh, we got two. We got two special. Guests. Oh, we got. Hey, just, <laughs> I already one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get right here. I got to get right here on the ladder. You have cold? Yes, so this is cold. the time 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 uncut and unfiltered time. You turn your camera around. Sorry. It's the time time uncut and unfiltered podcast. Got some of Bubble Pollard's uh crewmen joining the show. There's old Grayson. Hey, did, did y'all know Grayson got fired the other night but didn't know that he got yes, fired? Bubba didn't know he fired him. And I and I heard Tyler. I don't know if it's true or not, but uh, people's drunk thoughts are sober, like right. meaning, you know, very sober he meaning. Did. And then we've got yeah. the legend Mark Buckner joining the show tonight. Mark, what's going on, what's buddy? What's happening? What's oh, happening? Not what's much. Happening? Tom, Tom Ryan's camera is turned around. There's Tom. Yeah. Hold there. This is great. We we've got a great show here tonight. Uh, Bubble Pollard is going to be joining the show here in about ten minutes. Uh, really yeah. thankful for them. Um, we've got uh, a lot of people watching. If you've got a comment that you want to ask Bubble Pollard in the show, make sure you drop it in the comments. Also, got to give a shout out to Turnbo. Turnbo uh, posted something earlier today. I'm going to share that here in a few minutes of what he posted. Pretty cool deal from uh, Turnbo. Appreciate him watching. One of those. Mark Keystone. I got a cold Keystone. I got a cold course. I got a cold uh, Miller. So let's go Miller. As long as it's cold, this this ain't cutting it. All right. We have the uh, you you got a good beer selection. So Mark, you've been a friend of Bubble Pollard's for a very very long time. Would you give him a uh, passing A grade from this past weekend? The finish, yes. The start. How yes. about the qualify? How about the qualifying? I, I got my first Tito's drink at like nine thirty. <laughs> <laughs> Great story. Yeah, like that practice. What it hit different? Just seeing all that yep. go down, and then that first Tito's drink hit different too. Because like, <laughs> we got to fix the pain here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what about um? I, hey, now here's a question. Do you think you're Pit crew guys, absolutely. Could one thousand do a, <laughs> 1, Okay, I won't even ask the rest of the question. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. What do you got? I mean, would you put your pit crew guys up against uh, Xfinity pit crew guys? Um, let's go with a <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> 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 uh, we look okay, like the bad right, news bears enough. out there. <laughs> <laughs> what, um, Grayson? Yeah. You tore up anything today? <laughs> no, I really didn't have much to tear up today. Okay, He's got to do something good. to tear that's something good. up. Yeah. Well, no, he, he got rehired today, guys. He did. That's good. That's good. 
the ball. Which is a good thing. We're glad. We're glad uh, Grayson got. I didn't even here. see Tom what, there. What, What's up, Tom? Yeah. Hey, Mark. Good to see you. I'm not sleeping on your couch or you're in your house for a change. Um, what'd you guys do today? Did you guys get any uh, anything accomplished at the shop? Or not that you don't get stuff accomplished at the shop. I don't hope you take it like that. But what'd you guys do today at the shop? Well, we we don't get anything done when you're there because you're always in our faces. Oh, in the way. I know. I get it. Get the out of the way, Tom. <laughs> Damn it, Tom. That's right. No, we Damn didn't. It, hey, Tom. just so you know, I want all the fan, every everybody that's watching Bubble Poller to be on here in about seven minutes. We accomplished so a lot right today, now. but we just we're not going to discuss everything. We just worked. Okay. Worked your butts off. We just worked. So what did what did y'all think about um, Miss uh, Miss Vicky's toast at, at 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 that night? Wasn't that pretty cool? That was Cheer a good one. Up. Yeah, for sure. Sure. I know nothing yeah. about it. Please explain it to me and, and everybody else watching. Yeah. So basically, um, you know, <clears throat> there was some uh, uh, water flowing uh, afterwards, dinner, and uh, some shots coming. And um, everybody kind of says, well, would you like to give a speech? And Miss Vicky got up and gave about a five or six minute uh some memories she had about how Bubba started in and, and how he progressed in his racing and how him and Philip, um, which I want to see if I, I think I had a picture of, of this. I have to find it here real quick, but basically um, how him and his color, cousin Philip started and Philip is now the crew chief of um, Brandon Jones and how they kind of came up and racing and then told stories about how Mr. Sonny would keep Bubba out of school and, it just was kind of sentimental. She was just proud of Bub in the in the end. It was it was a really kind of cool deal. Did y'all were y'all sober enough to remember where Bubba hid when Sonny hit him out in the store in the shop? In the attic. In the attic. Up in the attic. I'm glad yeah. you listened. You passed the grade. Yeah, we've, heard, we've heard that many a time. What, yeah. Y'all heard. So what, Bubba? I mean, Mark. What would be your Bubba Pollard story? Oof. Oof. Uh, PG rated. Yeah, I told him that's a kid show. Kid show. Kid show. That that cuts out uh sixteen hundred stories. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have a question for Mark. Let me think and about I've that. Never asked you on that one. But okay. let, me, let me ask ahead, you. Tom. Let me ask you more of a specific question, Mark. So, specific. I know I know you're working with Anderson Bowen, and then you went to Bubba. How, I mean, how did you how did you end up working for Bubba? Um. So we basically, I didn't know who he was. Knew of him, didn't know who he was, but and it's basically just hanging out at the racetrack after hours, you know. And then we got to just hanging out. And our shop was probably 20 minutes from Bubba's where we was working with Anderson at the time, and I lived probably 20 minutes away. And then we just started hanging out throughout the week. And Anderson finally gave it up. And at that point, Bubba said, It would just come work for me. So that's where that started <laughs> <laughs> and so it began yeah and uh i mean it's pretty amazing that you you came from that point all the way to microwaving your own uh shower water uh mark, mark had some uh fun last a couple weeks ago about his shower what happened there uh, i don't really know but it takes Five minutes for eight bottles of water to be able to take a shower when you don't have any. <laughs> it's like Russian roulette, though. Some of them's warm, some of them's cold. You don't know. Till you don't. Uh, that's fantastic. Every, everybody's been at that point in different parts of their life, whether it's a shower or their electricity or it could be anything. Anyway. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Tyler, what do you got? No, nah, I'm just um, here listening to you guys tell the story. I'm, uh, we've got some people that's going to be joining. I was kind of listening. Bubba's on another podcast, on Chris Carter's podcast. And evidently, Andrea is upset she's not invited on the team podcast. She is invited. She is. Tell Call her up. up. Tell her to come on. So I just sent, I just sent Andrea the link for her to join. Um, uh, I and tried, I'm sending her a message. I tried to get her to do a speech at supper, and, yeah. and she she kept backing up, and uh -huh. that's when Miss Vicky says, "I got it." She got that Pollard stutter, yeah. In, and she didn't want to have no part of it. 
<laughs> and back and up. The, pol- the, the Pollard story. Vicky's what, was good. Um, Vicky's was good. That yeah. was good speech. Vic, Vicky's was good. It, it was uh, it was good, and it was really good to see you know Sonny there and and Vicky there and um, just just everybody. It was it was it was a cool event. I, let me see if I can pull this up here. That's a really cool photo of everybody that was there. Uh, we're missing. Where what happened Pappy. to Pappy? Pappy? Pappy Pappy got in the other photo. Yeah, Brooke, yeah, Brooke got the other one with Pappy. Okay. All right. Well, this is the only one that Molly sent this one to me. So we're missing one, which would be Mark's uh, dad uh, is in there. But what a great group of folks that showed up. I mean, that's something that I think a lot of people will remember for a very long time. And there was a lot more people other than just us that oh, showed yeah. up just because of him. Just for both. Yeah. A lot of a lot of yeah. flights was booked. I think they knew we was going to be there. So that's, that's probably what it was. Yeah, because yeah. we would have qualified better. Hey, I'll fly next time. You should. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why did you drive? Yeah. That's what I the finances told him. I waited, told too, him. Long. I waited too long. The, the wallet told him the he needed to drive. No. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. Well, folks, we, we've got uh, Bubba Pollard's going to be joining us here in just a few minutes. Uh, Who is she? We've doing? also got uh, Noah Gregson's going to stop in here in just a few minutes uh, to uh, cut up a little bit. Which is where to, the Redneck um, Jesus started. We're, is, right. And we'll get him to tell that story. Oh, um, yeah. Well, yeah uh, Andrea, Andrea is saying I was giving I was giving y'all a hard time. Boys <laughs> yeah, only. Okay. I get it. Yeah, no, no. So does that mean she's Look not, here, guys? We, I guess she's not joining, but joining us now is uh, NASCAR driver Noah Graxton. What's up? What's hey, up? Welcome. Hey, tell us, tell us how the redneck Jesus came about. Um, we were at the snowball derby in 2017 and it was a 50th annual snowball derby. So they painted us all helmets and had us go. It was different than most years for driver intros. They had us, they bust us all around the, outside the track and then we, they split us up. And so we were walking, walking down through against the front straightaway fence on the outside. Of the, um, I was like, Man, what what would you do if I uh, uh, caught your view and that we got to try and beat you today since you're so good here? And then um, he's like, I bet you a hundred bucks you want where um, the redneck Jesus came from. They say Dale Jr. is, but when you go to Pence, it's the real redneck Jesus. <laughs> so that's where it all that's where it all started, right there. That's right. So um, Bubba's going to be on here in a few minutes. Uh, wow, you just got really big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow, like, boom. Nice. It's like, oh. Boy, say coming okay, in hot. And uh, Bubba's going to be on here in a few minutes, but um, what was your what was your takeaway from first starting, for his first start in Xfinity? Yeah, I thought he did a really good job I more of the behind the scenes. Um, just being able to. And him and see where his thought process was and give him tips on what I thought a bunch of people. Uh, his cousin, Philip Bell, also is the crew chief of the night. I used to work with Philip. Uh, he was my engineer over at Junior Motorsports. And then uh, last year in the Cup. So he, uh, he probably heard a lot of stuff from him as well. And then uh, getting on the simulators, a really good job uh, throughout the race. Not doing pit stops before or not intensity, I feel like, is a lot different than uh, super late model races and how you can really push the car with, with a radial tire, all that kind of stuff. He did a really um, – he was fast in practice at Richmond usually. Whoever the track is usually pretty fast for the first group of cars. Um, it's quite a bit faster where if you would be laid down – a little bit slower, but um, I was a bit surprised to see him t- top of the board when uh, during practice. And then, yeah, qualifying there is really challenging. Uh, and it, like every time I've been there in an Xfinity car, it's been diff- different um, as far as how the balance, no matter how good, good you are in practice, it seems like if you don't hit your air pressures right, right, um, nice. So uh, he did 
a good job learning. I know we sat on the pit box and like watched, watched the whole race. Really, really good job uh, just learning the different tip -based track that really the simulator doesn't doesn't really teach you. Um, and I think low exits was really beneficial and how much grip there was there. And I I wonder, but what he thought of the intensity compared to um, model race and whatnot. Obviously, those cars are a lot more fragile on restarts, so you kind of take it a little easier just so you don't have the stack ups and um, um, whatnot. But he thought the intensity was because um, I could tell us it's and then getting into a groove for him with the different car and whatnot. Um, yeah, I mean, he did a did an awesome job uh, there, and uh, I, I think you can see him there. We we got a uh, Bubba Pollard join us now, extended deep man. He went from thirty seventh to six, and you got uh, we the got man some... on with you. <laughs> well, he wanted to, he, he wanted to say on. hey to his hero. Oh yeah, yeah, he can find a bigger better hero than I am. Where are you at, Bubba? Yeah. UPS? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who you got there? Good we we've got a show, man. Out. We've got Ricky Culpepper on here. We've got Rick Joey. Um, we've got um, we've got Hunter and Joey and Grayson, Mark. We've got Noah Gragson and then Tom. But uh, everybody's watching, Bubba. Let me just—I want to be the first one to say, and I know everybody does. Congratulations on this past weekend, man. I appreciate it. We uh we had a good run. I think we uh we uh we had a you know could have had a better run. I was kind of disappointed a little bit. There you go. I now I can see everybody. I think uh, we could have probably finished in the top three there if I could have got out on pit road a little better. What do you what do you think? I struggled on pit road, didn't I know? <laughs> a little bit, but it's your first time. You won too with it being a curved pit road, and you have to run different set of lights. Lights in the corners, and then the way you're changing your RPM. So, so, I mean, it's your your first time never doing in my pit, you know, an exceptional oh, yeah. job. It was it was tough. It was uh, it was a learning experience, but part of it, right? Pull two. Pull three. What was, Pull three. Uh, the biggest eye opening, uh, biggest challenge that, that you you didn't anticipate going in. The keystone is cold. I didn't. I, my biggest struggle from this weekend was um, the brake pedal. I struggled apply. And I don't know if it's like the brake package that they have, or like the mass cylinders, or the the pads, or or what. But I had to mash the brake pedal pretty aggressive to get that thing to to, to stop. Um, and my my left leg was killing me. I never used that much. I brake. heard you say. And I'm not used that to on the radio. <laughs> It was killing me. I was probably out of shape. I know I was out of shape, but yeah, it was uh, it was challenging. And being patient, like wrapping the bottom and like being patient, I couldn't. I struggled. Uh, I wanted to throttle it up like a super. And these things, when you, well, I always thought like when when a like when I throttle up my super, it turns down the hill and goes. This thing didn't really ever turn down the hill and go. You know, it just kind of maintains right there and starts pushing up the hill. So. I learned a lot in 20, 30 laps there, and uh, it was it was pretty fun. It was cool. To me, and you can elaborate on this. I don't know about the new car, but um, I feel like the tight has got a different tight feeling to it, and the free has got a different free feel to it. Like, it's, it's totally different when I expected. Yeah, they're definitely a lot more on, on top of the burn. That's probably that radial tire and whatnot. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's up a – a super late model, um, you know, the thing rotates on the gas where it's all four tires all the way up the racetrack, and you're just buzzing the right rear off of it. Um, track two, that low exits, I seen you got better on that off of four. Um, I couldn't, we couldn't really see pit box, uh, off of two, but the low exits and just staying a car width off the wall, there's a lot of grip there. Did you find that? Oh, yeah, it was like. It's like hitting a rut. It's like when you get in the moisture in the dirt car. Yeah. <laughs> when you hit it right, it felt good. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was cool, though. I enjoyed you being there, though. Thank you. I appreciate the support. Um, 
everybody asks me where I got Redneck Jesus from. I always tell them, tell them you're the you the, you the guy. <laughs> I don't even remember That's the whole story. Earlier. You remember that? Told them kind of. A, he actually I told us the we story. Were the we were, yeah. The driver intros for the helmets. Yeah. It was like the fiftieth annual it was one. Fiftieth. That's right. You bet me a hundred bucks. I would. I did. That's right. <laughs> I don't even know hey, hold on, guys. Real, real quick. Hey, Joey and, and, and Hunter, where's your driver's suit at? You're supposed to be in a driver's suit. Oh. I just was reminded yeah, of this. You can tell. Come on, hold on. Hold on, guys. All right, Bubba. This is for you, Bubba. We need helmet and all. Yeah, like, come on, Mark. Ready. Take a seat. You gotta be ready. Can he please do his Stephen Nasty almost impression? Ready. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Not your, not your, not your nasty one, the Bubba. Do they have one of your uh, suits, Bubba? They probably <laughs> all four. Oh, yeah. They all forfeited it. <laughs> hey, I looked up at the ARCA race. I looked up at the ARCA race. I come down pit road, and Mark's got one of my fire seats on from, like, 2015. It's small uh, as uh, asshole. Hold, hold on. Yeah, hold on just a second. Uh, while, they're, while they're putting this on, um, speaking of Look which. How, how about this? We also need to give a shout out. She's let she she went home, guys. But your your PR girl broke every neck on pit road this past weekend. Reagan is watching. Uh, she 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 broke every neck on pit road. She just sent me a text. Hey, hot spot. Here you go. Can y'all see? Can you? He's putting hell on this. <laughs> Why we're missing Holt tonight, huh? Well, Holt Holt said that he wanted to get in. Um, I can send him the link. I mean, <laughs> it can happen. So, um, got a helmet up. Not too. Is he on? Is it, are they on there yet? Yeah. Did you miss it? Yeah, I missed them. I, I just looked away. So, What's that? So, uh, what, Joey? Yeah, I miss Joey. He's coming so Joey, back. He had Joey, to Joey. Uh, reply to his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, uh, did you have you? Joey uh, got. He's the biggest Kevin Hart Good, fan. Joe. He's probably a bigger Kevin Hart fan. Than he a Hart fan. Did he tell y'all the story how he met uh, Harvick at uh, Cordell the other week? I haven't heard it. <laughs> Oh, Look oh at my this. goodness. Wow. Hey, tell them who the real bush driver right. is, Joey. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, man. What was the most memorable thing this weekend for you, Bubba? Uh, seeing all the people on pit road, like firing me race and, and stuff like that. Like, I really enjoyed be, doing it with all my, my group of people. Like, uh, um, like, because it wasn't only about me. I mean, it was, it was everybody involved, you know what I mean? So, um, it was cool. It was special to do that. I mean, I loved the race. I enjoyed it. Um, I had a great time. Uh, it's kind of something I'll never get to do again, possibly. So it, it was pretty cool to, to do it with everybody there. Click out of that real quick. Well, I mean, I, I think, uh, I think the, you know, what I took away from it was, is you, you've had, you've had people that have been with you for a very long time. Um, and they were there supporting it. And I, you know, I thought that was, was, was pretty cool. Um, I don't think we're going to get a, a, we're not, Oh, look who's on the show. <laughs> it's Holt. Remember, this is a kid show. <laughs> We got the whole gang on here tonight. Some people yeah, drink we got the whole gang. Um, oh my goodness, we're like the Brady Bunch now. Look at this. We got two more. Have Rick, Brady Bunch. Rick Culpepper. We've got uh, Noah. We appreciate you joining the show. I, I, I know you probably didn't know that you were getting into this. We're trying to keep it so that we don't get you in any trouble. So, but we do appreciate <laughs> you joining. Um, what's what's uh. What is it like, do you think, from, from your perspective, having someone like Bubble Pollard come through as Josh Berry and you and everybody kind of come through, but see him get that opportunity, 
does that get a lot of grassroots guys more involved, those fans? And kind of how does that kind of roll over to the NASCAR Cup side? Um, yeah, I think everybody NASCAR side just want to see how Bubba would do. Um, just speaking in short track grassroots, and, and you don't really see it um, a whole new I would say makes a career um, running is arguably, I think, the best in the country um, at it and in his so many years. Um, you know, I know Casey Roderick got an opportunity to run uh, the GMS car and stuff, but um, I really appreciate it. Um, just, I know the work effort that, that goes into it for guys like Casey and Bubba. Uh, and um, programs and to have the opportunity to you know one day get there i think it's it's but but on top of it just experience it one time so a lot of the guys in be the cup series truck series or xfinity series i think everybody um was watching that jesus would do because um like i said he's one of the best and really well i i you know wish more guys like him um, could have the opportunity to do it because he did exceptionally well, especially in his first start, and would hope, hope to see him get a couple more opportunities uh, just to, to be assessed because the first one is so hard. You're, you you know, from on a seat fitting to, I mean, the first, first time he walks into JRM, everything's so new. It's a like new people. And, and as you can continue to grow and build and gain experience in it, I think you get better, you know. So, so um, I'm hoping to be able to see Bubba out there again because I had a day and would love to see him do it again. Well, we appreciate you joining us. We've got a couple of more folks that's going to back up right behind you, and uh, we're going to cut up here a little bit. But uh, thanks for joining the show tonight, Noah Gragson, uh, driver of the number 10 cup car for Stuart Haas, and good luck this weekend. And the season. Good seeing you guys next Super Lame. I know we were talking about, about trying to run maybe Hickory for that ASA Stars race. That'd be pretty good. Hope to see all you guys soon. And, and uh, Bubba, you're the man. <laughs> all right, Noah Gregson, join us there. And uh, appreciate it, Noah. Have a good night and awesome. good luck this week. All right. Uh, we've got some good ones coming up here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Mr. Bob Sargent from ASA has joined us. He's going to stop in and say hello and uh, wish uh, Bubba Pollard good luck. Bubba had to jump off. He'll he'll be uh, he, he'll be right here. So hold on just a second. Go hey guys, um, uh, Mark, tell us, t Mark, give us another Bubba Pollard moment. Like what's what's going on with? Give me something. Will you move, please? I got I got a question for Mark. And hey, and hey, Bob, how are you doing? I'm good. Yeah. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Hi, Mark. Um, your, your first win with Bubba, do you remember that? And how long did that take for you guys to get that uh, taken uh, care of? Uh, man, can't we do like early questions so I got time to think about these? <laughs> so you no, don't remember your first win? No. No. Okay. Well, let, let's talk about New Smyrna at the uh, Clyde Hart um, race this year. Um, oh, well, we got really think... out. I remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> what, what happened there? Yeah, so uh, we failed to do our job, and um, he noticed, so he told us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that brings me up because I'm going to mention this when he gets on here. I felt like he was a bit soft this past weekend on oh, the radio. For sure, it was not fair. It wasn't. <laughs> So, uh, real quick, uh, Bob, I don't know when he's going to join us back. He said he had to jump off for just a second. But Bob Sargent with ASA, uh, this is being recorded, so he'll see it. Uh, uh, we got some folks that's backing up here to us. But uh, we appreciate you joining the show tonight. ASA a promoter and track enterprise president, Mr. Bob Sargent. Uh, what what you got to say to Bubba, man? Oh, man, first of all, it's like you're having a great show. I love the guys there. It's a the crew. great show. Hey, everybody. Um, yeah, I know, man. Bubba, is, what a what – a, great uh you know supporter of, of you know what we're doing and and the late model racing his career in that 
and now a, a chance, as I read somewhere, you know, the big stage. And uh, he just did awesome, you know, the pictures with the family and then obviously the, the, the results of the race and the way he handled himself. Um, just can't say enough for, uh, you know, how he did. And, and, you know, Noah, I mean, we've got a lot of great uh, super late model guys that are starting to move into the NASCAR ranks more and more, you know. I mean, there for a while it seemed like we had some dirt guys going in there. And now maybe some – pavement late model guys are getting to show their skills and, and uh, experience they have. So just proud of everybody that, that continues in the state uh, pavement late model world and, and what we all do. Yeah. Uh, ASA y'all had uh, some good events so far this, this year and uh, got the Carolina 250 or the Hilltop 250. Or I don't know. Y'all, y'all come up with so many screwed up names for y'all's events. I just, I don't know. It's in Hickory, but either way, y'all done a great job this year. And um I think slowly but surely you're getting to be an asphalt guy away from dirt. Well, we're still doing both. I mean, we really like our dirt. So, I mean, there's no reason whether it's Tony Stewart, Schrader, there's a lot of, a lot of racers out there, you know, our, our hero, AJ Foyt. There's a lot of racers that can do both. And uh, that's what we're doing. We're enjoying both. We've got a dirt race Friday night and we go to Nashville Saturday, Sunday. So we can do both. We're in Hickory right now. i um, working on our Hickory race. Um, you know, a little bit of a sad note, but uh, got to throw a shout out. We were at uh, Gary Freeman's funeral today and uh, just a, a, a long time supporter of everything we do also um, in all the whole industry uh, pavement. So, again, did that today and uh, working at the Hickory Racetrack tonight. Some cars out there testing and um, May 23rd. We're looking forward to Hickory. Well, they're going to need it because if May 23rd pops around and these boys that's over there to your right are on their A game, they might be trying to take that trophy home. So, Bob Sargent, ASA, thanks for joining us. Bubba, will he, he was on here earlier, he had to hop off, but we'll make sure he, he he's, uh, knows you were on here. Wish him luck and this being recorded. So, appreciate you doing that, and uh, we'll see you down the road. Good deal. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Bob. All right, Bob Sargent from ASA. Uh, look at all that. What do y'all think about Bubba for president, 2024? Negative. Not happening. I wouldn't trust him. <laughs> Why not? What's Culpepper doing over there? Let's hear from Culpepper. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, look at all that. What do y'all think about Bubba for president, 2024? Negative. Uh, guy over there. Let's hear from Culpepper. Why not? Yeah. Uh, am I just hearing myself back or what? I didn't <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Ricky, Ricky. Yeah, Ricky. that was my wife. Come on, Ricky. She did, oh. Look, she's not about the content. Hey, Slick. So, slick Rick. I saw Slick Rick. I saw you. Um, you were getting down on the. Uh, you were getting down on the dance floor this weekend. Yeah, if you see me dancing, I probably should have went home about an hour and a half before. This. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I was there. I was there. <laughs> so how how's your wife rick yeah um, yeah what happened i heard she's got yeah, a let's hear, let's hear this story yeah well she's she's the she's the type of lady that always tries to take up with everybody's kids and bubba's kids treat her like she's like their second or third or eighth mom however many they have and she was teaching mac how to hit a golf ball so mac decided she didn't need no help so Lindsay was just going to stand there and make sure she didn't fall off the roof. And Mac brought out the softball swing and whacked her in the head. No, no whack. No, no, whack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As Tom drinks his wine. Sorry, it's the, it's the Keystones. Good show. Well, I, I, I have a story about that, too. I actually got whacked in the mouth with a pair of handcuffs. Um, I lost teeth over it, so consider your <laughs> wife lucky. <laughs> yes, you found. Hey, guess who? Else, you need get, to guess, out. guess who else is watching, guys? No tell. Goth. 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 Garth just put this comment in there. Goth from Maine. He he showed me. He I was like, Garth, where do you live at? And he tells me this this city, and I'm talking about guys. It's it's his city, and 200 miles, nothing else above him in Maine. He is the top of almost the living of of up there. Uh, Jarch just said top golf was fun for a bit. I'd be willing to say Garth had a good time this weekend. 
Yeah, I do Garth, had, say that. Garth had Garth had a there it is. He he's commenting. Uh I was it Parmire? Palmyra? We'll go with is that. that Palmyra? Palmyra? Palm Rhea, Palm Rhea, something I don't know. Palm Rhea, y'all from Alabama. Somebody, we're from the south. Y'all from Alabama, dude. You know you yeah. can't pronounce that. Uh, I, I, we're waiting on Bubba Pollard to join us. He had to uh, go and <clears throat> do something else. I'm sure we kind of bored him a little bit. Does any um, Does anybody know where TJ is? I've been missing him. Does anybody know where he is? He's on talking circles at eight thirty, so he's probably still. On uh, I have. I can't even hear you, Ricky. I'm sorry. I don't understand what you're saying, but it's fine. Ricky said I'm he kidding. was on. I'm talk. kidding. Anybody I heard. Um... Oh, hold on. Here. Yeah. Look, look, look what Garth said. He said, I had my first five beers. <laughs> hey, Tyler, Tyler, let me tell let me tell Ricky a story about uh talking circles with Chris Carter. Um, I almost got into a fight with Chris Carter at the 2018 Snowball Derby. Uh yeah, when I was working for Speed 51, I had to go up in the grandstands and stop him from uh, live live streaming the uh, pro truck race on Friday night. And uh, you were that I basically, guy? I was that guy. Um, and in his defense, <laughs> listen, and in his defense, he sees some knucklehead come up to him and try and grab his phone, and he wanted to fight me. And uh, <laughs> it wouldn't it, it wouldn't have went well for him. And he actually told me, he's like, look, this guy's sh shaking. He's scared. It was like 40 degrees out and I was wearing a t-shirt and I'm like, yes, I was, I am shaking. It's freezing out. I'm cold. I shouldn't be out here dealing with you. Tom, anyway, guess who just, see that guess who just joined the show? It's the neck breaker herself. Number nine. <laughs> Number nine. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is not the case guys. She actually said, please, whatever, nothing. And it's no not beans are seconds. still, you guys. No beans are out. Tom, Tom, I'm cutting unfiltered. <laughs> 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 I'm I mean, it could be, it could be, uh, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> it could, could be worse. a good story. Could, 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 be, could be a 51 or a 10. Yeah. You never know. Um, so just out of curiosity, um, Reagan, be, be honest. What is, what is your takeaway from the weekend? Um, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was super cool to like experience because I've never been to um, like a race that big. So I think that was super cool. Um, and honestly, I had a great time just like being there with all of you guys. <laughs> I mean, there was like a lot going on at all times, but um, I enjoyed Who's it. Who's more comical, Joey or Hunter? Uh, or Garth? Or Garth? Uh, Garth, was, Garth was like secretly Garth was funny, you know? <laughs> Garth would like kind of chip in here and there and he was hilarious. Um, and then I don't know, I feel like there's it's a hard competition there because they they all have different ways of being funny. So um kind of just depended on the night. I feel like Joey had it one night and then Hunter the next. So it kind of just depends. Was there ever a dull moment? There was not a single one. <laughs> I mean, you turn your head left, there's something going on. You turn your head right, there's something crazier going on. So I, know, just, I feel like it was constantly a comedy show, but I had a great time. So, who had the best dance who, move? Hey, tonight? who's got Tarnas. the best dance move? Yes. Yeah. Can we talk yes. about that? That one that sat <laughs> yeah. No, he said, he looked at me and he said, just what he just told you guys earlier. He said, um, you know, if I start dancing, I should have went home an hour ago and I turn around and he's, you know, shaking it on, on this person. Then he's this person. I mean, he was all over. So I don't believe that for a second anymore. <laughs> what about TJ's twerking? TJ, uh, TJ really, yeah. he had that, he had that going. I, I've got a loss for words, to be honest. I, it was the least, like the last thing I was expecting. He's like the biggest dude in the whole place. And he's over there, you know, just breaking magic it down. Mike. Yeah. Magic Mike. Got, 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 <laughs> got, got a magic mic that, moment. That dance floor was going to be his next baby mama if he didn't be careful. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, oh, shit. Hey, what about, um, how how tell the guys they don't know this so it's okay we're not spilling the beans tell the guys as you're walking down pit road what happened um oh um, is that why you keep referring to the head turning thing yeah um yeah i was walking and it was after like bubba came like down the the stage for like the entrance 
and we were just like walking back to his car to meet up with everybody and I was just you know not really paying attention and then I hear a oh my gosh praise Jesus and something else and then I turn around and it's like a whole pit crew and they're like praise Jesus praise Jesus I was like <laughs> My jaw dropped. I was like, there's no way that's what's actually, you know, it, I don't know. It was oh, it was. It was 100%. odd. It was odd for sure. But it's because it was that. Easter weekend. Easter. Praise Jesus. Yeah. Right. That's, well, well that's, that's what I thought. Come on, Reagan. Get it together. I thought it was too, you guys. I did. I was like, yeah, I agree, you know. Um, how about the uh, let me see if I can find us. Y'all go ahead, y'all have fun. Somebody, somebody call Pollard and tell him to get back. Is home. Rick on the porch? Are you swinging on the porch? I'm swinging. Where's Willis? He's in the house because he wanted to listen to it wide open sitting next to me. <laughs> you can't do that. Hey, y'all li y'all listen to this. This was the shot that TJ, the toast that TJ did. Nope, not that Don't one. do that one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Tomorrow's Christ Here you go. You ready? Here you go. Hold on. Hold on. Here. Tomorrow's Christ Jesus, today the Red Dead Jesus, BP 26. <laughs> hey, bro, no, oh, but he's always clever. He, he's up, very Milo? clever. There, uh, there was another one. Um, hold on, did someone just join? Can you? Hey! Oh, it's hey! 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 There he goes. Uh, ah. <laughs> we got, we got, we've almost got the whole team here. Uh, hey, been eating tacos. Yeah, yeah, tacos it's Taco Tuesday. Tuesday. What's going on, man? I already had them. No you know that? Well I, well, I know that, but what else is going on? You're on a media tour tonight, or what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I had my tacos. I did my thing with Chris, and now I'm here with the family. I'm here with y'all, my family. Yeah. So we was P2. Um, yeah. So, so <laughs> uh, Noah Gragson just said pit box squad. So TJ, give us the, I want you to give everybody that's watching, I want you to take a deep breath and I want you to give us the two by two by two. Here we go. So you want, you want the five flags version? <laughs> I want the five flag version. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fine Flag Speedway. We stack them up two by two by two. <laughs> and he nails it. Nails it. Yeah. Every time. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Every time. William Coffey checking in. William Coffey's checking in, too. He was up there. Him and his wife had a good time. And then give us the uh, Bubble Pollard intro. I can't because I've still got a plan to do it at Five Flags one day. So I can't spoil it. Y'all can't, can't. I mean, it. he I'm gives like, him an intro I, as we go into the bar Saturday. Get the night. bar intro. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about that. Well, Bye -bye. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so I, I may have went and talked to the DJ. All right, I wrote something down, and he was like, "I can't read." Yeah, this. what did you? What did you? What did you do? Well, I just wrote him something about you know Bubba racing and what, you know congratulations shout out. And he goes, "I can't read this." He was like, "I said just give me the microphone." This so, <laughs> I got this, you know. And I was like, you know. Here we go. So, you know, we didn't get kicked out, thank God. But uh, <laughs> so, you know, I had to give a shout out to him and just, you know, everyone, because I know we were all there and just proud of him. So, you know me, there's a moment I'm going to take it to do whatever to just for some tension to BP. So, well, no, it was my biggest TJ. question, and I think TJ, say that again. Noah, it was definitely TJ. It was TJ. Oh yeah, yeah. No. I, I couldn't. Yeah, even, I agree. I couldn't even sit on that pit box and tell you know we sat over there with Noah in the Stuart Haas one, and then it was like I get down, but I was like I know I won't be still, and I might start high stepping up here and knock this thing down. And I was like I gotta stay on, <laughs> I gotta stay on the ground because I could not be still. Not <laughs> he's the reason the pit box broke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So so so. Who you saw it, Reagan? Right? I didn't hear this story. I ain't heard it. Okay, so so we'll let Reagan tell this story. So Bubba's. Let me just give a little backdrop. So 
obviously junior motorsports, and I think a lot of these Xfinity guys, if they're kind of tied in with some type of relationship, whether it be Hendrix or whatever, they, they kind of use their pit boxes or whatever. So actually Bubba was pitting out of the Chase Elliott pit box, number nine. And, um, and so they were set up and take it from there. Um, yeah, so I, I'm just like kind of, you know, gazing around, they're going around and I like look to my left and out of the corner of my eye, I see something kind of like shift. And he literally, the guys that were, you know, I guess when Noah said it was the engineer, he's literally sitting there and the top bar of the tarp, like there's a metal bar through the end of it. It completely slings down and just, I mean, like cleared the guy in the forehead and he's like, goes backwards and he's like feeling to see if he's bleeding while he's holding the pole up. Like, I mean, it dropped down. I know it hurt, but like, it looked like it knocked him out. <laughs> it was, it was tough. Like it was, I know it was heavy too. Like, I mean, it went full swing and just like hit him in the, in the eyebrows. It was bad. And they tried to like put it back. They tried to like put it back together. And eventually, uh, Andrew Overstreet, he was like, just take it down. So they had to sit the rest of the day completely in the sun. And it did. I always got to get, get a guy a concussion. Yeah. Yeah. Mark, you, how many beers are you on, Mark? One. We need more from Joe. 114. <laughs> That's usually his answer. One after another. I got a question for Noah Gregson. Uh, Noah, can you explain to us behind behind you on the wall uh, those race suits? Where are they from? Uh, that one is from uh, uh, Truck Race at Martinsville. First win in the trucks. And then this is my first big super late model win at the Winchester 400. For everyone. And I got the my little derby shrine right here. You can't show that because we, we don't have one of those. <laughs> well, uh, can you explain more about your uh, race suit from uh, Snowball Derby 2018 when you won? Uh, because weren't you supposed to receive a new one before the race? Uh, I, I can't hear you with the helmet on. When you came home, when you came home from the 2018 Snowball Derby, didn't you receive a brand new race suit that you didn't uh, get in time to drive for the uh, the race you won? Yeah, I, was, I ordered a, a suit through Alpine Star that. It takes forever. Uh, it takes like six weeks for them to get it, and it uh, it came the day right after the derby. And uh, I don't even know where that thing was, but I think this is a suit I ran for the derby. Right there. That's cool. That's that's the one you got the kiss in, right? Yeah. Yeah. The kiss. Uh, nice. Kiss. The, yeah. The the kiss. He he put the move on Miss Snowball Derby. Get around snake. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Explain that because before the race, you said three things. You know, at the end of this race, I hope to a get the trophy, b be in victory lane, and c get the girl. Well, yeah, it's kind of different, but I always saw like. <laughs> It wasn't, it wasn't like that. It was, uh, I always thought like back in the day, you know, that's a big race. It's the biggest one, um, that I've ever competed in. Um, so I was like, man, that they used to, the, there's a trophy girl, you know, they, they used to give a kiss in victory lane. And then, um, that isn't really a tradition anymore. I found out. Listen, listen, he behaved himself very well. And he asked her, and she said no, and it was all good. Yeah, and later yeah. on, that you know, you know, they they were talking in tech afterwards. That was the only drama. The only drama in tech was actually Noah Gregson meeting the trophy girl finally, and uh, you know, you guys talked, and it was all good. Well, that was the thing is she came over in tech after. after... He's gone. Hello. He's gone and Bubba's back. Bubba's What's back. up? Well, I'm back. Bubba's back. That's all that matters. Hold hey, on. I got bigger I don't things know what to happened. cry than y'all. What, 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 
First of all, your Whoa. face like you just like <laughs> skewed up a little bit, bro. You yeah. lost your weight, man. You <laughs> look like a ball guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when he had one, that was it. There you go. You're much better. And that's better. Much better. Yeah. There you go. No. Oh, go okay. Hold on. Wait. There it is. There you go. All right. Yeah. So why is it y'all so, Zoom? ones I have problems with everybody else goes good I think it's your shitty restream and studio thing it's time to step it up time Tom uncut unfiltered <laughs> unfiltered oh shit you you uh <laughs> no we can hear you fine bubble pollard hey um so these guys here these um, guys are lame they took oh, that <laughs> big game all week I was gonna say they're a little lame but um, right. they're all right. What like, you want to hear? You want to hear some real, real uncut, unfiltered I want you some bullshit about yeah. Bubba Paul. You want to start? I want, I want to hear some bullshit about Bubba Paul. Yeah, give it to me. Let's see tell, how let's tell see the y'all can handle it. In the trash can story. Uh, already let's see did. Y'all can handle it. What the trash can story? You're late, bud. We already heard it. We already heard it. Would you tell them about your Tinder story in uh? You tell them about your Tinder story in Nashville? No, I'm talking about your damn trash can story. My 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 Tell them about your Tinder date. What the fuck is circus? It's a circus. Yeah. So, so what about the Tinder story? I didn't hear this one. Yes, yeah, let's hear it. So back in yeah. uh, when was this, when was I, the November? November back oh, in just when the big girl ba- back in November. No, no, this is good. <laughs> it's better than that. This is way better than that. Back in November, we were headed to Nashville for the All American Four Hundred, uh-huh. which you fucking plowed the wall. You don't need sensitivity. <laughs> Uh, we were headed to Nashville, and Bubba got on my Tinder. I was taken after you. He he was um he was trying to he was <laughs> he was plowing he not towards the wall he got on my tender and he's just swiping away I'm not paying attention no. <laughs> he's in, he's in the front seat swiping whatever well the next morning it says I got a notification I'm like hell yeah boys we got a we got a <laughs> we, got we got some got a, we got some we got some prospect you know he was so excited. I, we were like whatever. Everybody like, is gathered around his phone waiting for the. We're match. huddled up, and I'm waiting on this damn thing to load. And all we of a sudden, this dude all the way with, up there. this dude with a shirt off named Mike says, yeah. "Hey, <laughs> Bubba, be swiping on dudes." <laughs> hey, what about? Hey, what about um? Would she have a a loop? What is it called? An UFA? A loofa? What? A no, uh, a fupa. A fupa. A fupa. <laughs> I thought this. Hey, was hey while we got everybody on, let's uh, let's uh, let's let's listen to Bubba's rap career. The, the list. No. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is turning into a full roast session right now. Y'all ain't got the. Y'all ain't got it. Y'all ain't got it from the other night. No, uh, no. We need you. Your version. Unfiltered version. I don't want to ask PG. I see him looking at it. <laughs> Who me? You got a little stomach, but that's okay. Hey! <laughs> uh, take your take your Chick Fil A water, boy. Oh. Oh, water shit. you choose on ice. Oh yeah. Oh, so I love chewing on ice. Pull a couple, Joey. Hey guys, okay. I gotta go. I'll take one, Joey. A couple. All right, we'll see you, Slick Rick. Hey yeah, yeah, Rick. A deer just got hit and hey, sh- laying in there by the donkey. I gotta go kill it. Hey, show show the camera your hat before you leave, though. Yeah, sponsorship. Look, you no, turn it off. Turn it off. All right, we'll get. Hey, um, <laughs> hey, Torrance, you go Taco Tuesday. What kind of question is that? That's why I asked me if I'm a Bubba Pilot fan. Damn right, I had tacos. <laughs> well, I like some good tacos us- too. My question is, is how did you miss out on being a magic mic? Because, bro, your your twerking skills on a dance oh, floor are phenomenal. He can lay it down. <laughs> that that, 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 that just impregnated. Yes. That was pop, that that was he can even go back to six years with child support. <laughs> I forgot I mean, about that. Damn. <laughs> 
<laughs> forgot about it. I, I tried to forget about it. I heard it. they had to replace the floor in that damn bar. Oh, well. They said your hardwood broke the hardwood. <laughs> but we did get kicked out, though. <laughs> oh, man. But uh, that what, um, that was y'all get rid of Holt, Holt couldn't hang. Holt, Holt couldn't hang. Um, by the way, uh, Bob Sargent stopped in and said congratulations, and, and he stopped in and said yeah, Stephen tell, Bobby, tell, too. Tell, tell Bobby he's got my damn number. <laughs> Oh, he, is he another one? Is he another one that won't call you back? These promoters, some of these. No, days. no, no. He 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 could tell. He takes me, tell me, good job. I'm just messing with. Because it won't call. Back. Hey, so after the so after the race, we go to the restaurant and uh, had all your people there. You had a, you, you, your mom gave a nice speech. You gave a toast, but your sister wouldn't speak up. What's what's up with that? I don't know. She kind of gets stage fright. I don't know what's the deal with. Yeah. Her. How about TJ Majors? He did a good job. Door, he talked good a job. lot. Bumper, door, quarter, quarter, quarter. I didn't listen. He was saying bumper, door, quarter, door, clear, whatever, whatever they say. I had no idea. It hit me about halfway through the race when he was <laughs> damn. He was plugging that shit in, you know. Bumper, but but if, but if you're clear. but, but look, look, bumper, clear, if your sister if your sister talked that much, or your crew members suck. Well, I don't want to say suck. If no. they did. Now the you would have cussed them all out. Why did you? Why did you cut Junior yeah, why, Boys? Why did, why did you not say one cuss word and you cuss all us out? Hey, two seventy is pretty hot. Y'all <laughs> deserve it. Oh, <laughs> when when you do that. stupid shit, you deserve oh, to be cussed back. out. What now? When you do stupid shit, you deserve to get cussed out. Oh. We don't ever do anything stupid. He don't do anything at all. Grayson, <laughs> you didn't <laughs> cut my damn toe off. You don't want me to be talking. Listen, Grayson ain't been there two months. He didn't mess up everything in the damn shop. Damn right. First week, he did. First no, week, the first he day. The car on my toe and hit the damn trailer, ruined this guy's trailer and all in two days. I fired him this weekend, but he damn showed up to work Monday. He like Alfredo. I'm Alfredo 2.0. Yeah. No speaking English. No speaking English. Uh, I don't even lie. Trailer. He didn't even remember you fired me. You were so messed up. I don't remember uh, much from Saturday night. Why? Why is that? Bo? Let's get into that. Yeah, let's wow. talk about Saturday night, Bo. I know I blew the ass out of my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Can we show that? No. <laughs> Go ahead, Reagan. No, I don't. I can't. Care. I'm on my phone. I can't do it. <laughs> I didn't know about this. Hey. Uh, yeah, how this? Yeah, happen? Bubba. Bubba walks up to me and he's like, "I think I got a hole in my pants." And sure enough, he squats over and the hole from top to bottom. I mean, it's like. I think so. Over is an understatement. I right he into hands it. on the floor. Before I did. Do we have any viewers tonight? Um, currently, right now, we have a hundred and nine on Facebook, <laughs> and oh, we have. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. I'm drinking Keystone Light and I'm on Facebook. Are you shitting me? He's gone. <laughs> oh, boy. Nah, it, it, I nah, don't care. Not. I really don't care. <laughs> There's nothing been said wrong. No. I really don't care what nobody thinks of me. Yeah. That's why people love you, Bubba. <laughs> hey, Bubba. That's why people love you. What up? What was your expectations of the weekend, and what do you think? How, how did it go in your eyes? Be honest. Good question, Tom. Honestly, oh, yeah, Tom. If you want to know the truth, honestly, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one saw that coming from early. Honestly, if I wouldn't have screwed up qualifying, there's a couple of things that happened. I screwed up qualifying, and I wouldn't have started so back, so far back. I would have run um, – I probably could have finished top three. If not, I was running pretty good speeds there um, toward the end of the race, they say. If – if if the, they can say what they want to. Like, I sucked on pit road, like, bad, honestly. Um, we saw it. A little bit was my fault. Yep. But I'm not going to take all the blame on it. Like, they were – they were – they struggled a little bit, and I struggled. So, if I wouldn't lose five positions per stop, I think I still finish 
top three. All right. So, I, was a little, I was a little disappointed with that when I got out of the car because um, I know if we could have got all those things done, that I would have finished top three. But you're in agreement. You are soft on the radio when those events. I was easy on those guys. <laughs> you know what? Y'all are manly men. And I know y'all can handle an ass chewing when you need it. Yeah. yeah, but those what, I mean, guys in NASCAR are soft, right? They are. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you if you get another ride, you want them to do you a good job. Tell me, cut no, I do. They're great. Like all joking aside, <clears throat> it was fun. I enjoyed it. Like everybody in the world's probably gonna see this now, but <laughs> I know it was on Facebook Live. Y'all, y'all, y'all got me on that one. Yeah, why? You're uncomfortable. I don't care. You don't care. You don't no, care. there's. Not, I mean, I, he probably won't ever talk to us again. But I don't think you said anything wrong. I, I mean, don't it's, think so. it's, hey, it's, look, the, the people are loving it. The comments keep coming in. Uh, well, people sometimes are just you don't. Fun you, sometimes, listen. All those four guys stand there. Holt, Holt's crazy. I've <laughs> never heard him this quiet. I got to get married, By the way, it has nothing to do with it. I don't think they know. They don't. We when we go out places, we have a good time. Damn sure do. Hey, yeah, except when you start buying shots, Bubba. That that then it goes downhill, kiddo. I didn't buy a shot the other night. No. I think that <laughs> might be false. Well, thanks, Miss Vicky, for the. Do you know how? <laughs> hey, do you know how much? A, do you know how much a, a Vegas bomb was in that joint? Ten dollars. Yeah, and we don't know how many trays I saw go to that back room. <laughs> I think Molly, were on the oh, bill. wait, you weren't in the back room. I think Molly at nine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. opened yourself up to that one. Where were you sitting? I wasn't sitting, <laughs> I just saw him go back there. <laughs> where were you? Yeah, well, where were you at while you were sitting? She got to call you. I got hey, there's that, there's that camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's hey, not. Hey, let's go. Philip Bell do for you this weekend in the process of getting ready. How'd Philip do for the process of getting ready? Getting you ready. He uh he told me like it was. The other guys sugarcoated a little, little some things, but Philip told me like it was. You know what would be cool? It would be badass if I could get a deal and me and him could do it together. I think it would be cool. Like. Yeah. Like I think it would be for you for those of y'all that's watching and don't know, Philip is my cousin that is the crew chief on the nine car for Brand Jones. But like through the whole process, I think it would be badass if me and him could do it together, like old school, like how we grew up. I think it would be because we just because we we kind of feed off of each other. Like Philip's a hardcore worker. Like he's he's hardcore, um, and uh, he's serious. Like if you're gonna if you're gonna um, if you want a guy in your corner that's that's uh, being bagged up against the wall, he's the one that you want there with you to fight you out. So um, it would be cool to do it. What um, tell the story? Your mom told the story. So for everybody don't know, you and Philip grew up. Y'all came up together and racing bicycles. Was it around the track that she was talking about when she told that story? Yeah, we they used to have bicycle races over there all the time. We we cheat bikes up and. That's kind of Most where of it all started. <laughs> <laughs> he says two words. That was good. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Leave it to Holt. <laughs> Holt, where are you at? Holt, why do you look so mad? <laughs> What's going on? That's 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 B-Man. That's okay. B-Man. Show him B-Man. Do we have Come a on. B-Man suit? Oh, where's the wax? Give us some B-Man. <laughs> He's blurry because he's on his Galaxy S3 or whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not laughing. Uh, he's not he didn't man. think it was funny. He's not happy. <laughs> he's not even smiling. Not even a crack. No, not, um, now he's happy. It's my thinking face. Yeah. <laughs> I can only imagine what's about to come out of your mouth. Yeah, <laughs> we can't hear him. Happy. The, uh, <laughs> crown Vic, that did that. Huh? <laughs> no, did you hear about that? Don't worry about it. It's all good. What's that? I'm the only dude that gets that wins the Crown Vic race and gets thrown out. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that I want to hear the long delay when I hear it because y'all started weekend. laughing like five minutes at something. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Hey, no, you, so, this guy is a therapist for the men, you're mentally. What are you? Therapist for the jailhouse. What are you? No, the federal penitentiary. Yeah. It's, and he, he's he, gives, he gives advice. He does some good advice. Nah, he we um we uh, Bubba got That's thrown good. out at, at Five Flags for uh he we put him in a car that he had no idea about nothing about the car, won by three and a half seconds. When was it? They tossed him out. So uh, this is two last weekends week. ago. Yeah, Five Flags. So have <laughs> you seen the race? They got they got a crown they got a crown big race that's going to pay fifty grand to win. You heard about that? Come on, where? Pensacola. This it's a dirt it's a dirt race in South Georgia. Well, it's kind of over towards Savannah. It's if they get if they get ten thousand cars, it's ten, twenty, twenty thousand, thirty, thirty thousand, forty. Right? Is that right? No, five hundred. If they get five hundred, they get five hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand for a crown victory. Yeah. 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 I'm looking at it's July. Yeah, go July by. second and third, I think. Ah, uh, they can't do it. We only get the two off weekends during like end of July, or else I would do it. Is that the Olympic break of this year or something? Yeah, we get two weeks off this year. Is Olympics? Tell them to push it nice. back, and we'll go do it. <laughs> it would be a good time. It'd be a blast. Hey, when the next if Atlanta gets race, that same car at five flags, I'll get some of that tire and speed weeks. He should be the man. Hey, hey, the next Atlanta race. Uh, what the hell is he saying? Somebody's texting me something. Um, the next Atlanta race, you need to come down with Philip. So, did he tell you about last time they come over? And we we got the uh, yeah, shots we're, out and race Packer card and stuff. Hell yeah. yeah, we had a good They're time. Sending me pictures and everything. It was a lot of fun. They crashed half our um, shit, tore everything up. We, what about uh, what about the K one? We went and raced some go karts this past. How how did that go, boys? Mark, I think I sucked. I know hey, I how sucked. How do you how do you read text messages and keep this thing up? Oh, shit. You don't. Um, just don't read your messages. You don't. Normal. You just don't read your messages. Just ignore them like you ignore them. All of a sudden, you're trying to respond. Or not. Right. He's ignoring you. <laughs> Listen, my mom hey, is so texting me. My mom is texting me and telling me the weather is going to get bad to leave my phone on tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Baby boy. She's, she's, she's looking out for her son. I don't know okay. what's wrong with that. What's, like, what's bad mean? <laughs> like, it, it's going to be pretty It's going to be pretty bad. It, I know here it's a hundred percent with twenty mile, thirty miles an hour winds. Hundred percent. Reagan couldn't. Reagan couldn't get by my fat ass at K one from Garth. Oh, Garth, oh, he's a man. Shit. He is a man. He's watching right now. Hey, so um, I think we should all go to Talladega uh, here in about three weeks. I think we should do that. I think we should I rent think we should too. campers, like the rent some campers, like Boulevard. Rent campers. Yes. Go and put it on the boulevard. Yes, and we do a podcast from the boulevard. All right, I'm in. Done. Twenty four seven. You know, you know, Mark can get anywhere in Talladega with no credentials. That's that's a fact. What, that. tell, tell us about that. What? How, how can you do that? Hey, hold on, time out. Hunter, don't you have somewhere to go? <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. How many, how many times has she called? How many times has she called? A couple times. At five. least four. Five. <laughs> Does she know what you're doing? Yes. Yeah, I'm fucking famous. <laughs> she What's probably just got done with the hearing and wants to talk to you, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Courtney? What's her name? It's my huh? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> uh, what's up? Jeffrey. Let's talk Her about name is Bubba. Jeffrey. Let's talk about Bubba. Jeffrey. All right. So no, back back to Talladega. <laughs> oh, I think we should rent some campers, get on the boulevard, and I've never been to the boulevard. Really? I've never been. Me neither. Me neither. Who said? Should me we here? put you? No, Tom. Oh. What? No, you can't. <laughs> I'll be. Last I'll time be I went to the boulevard. 
Last time I went to the boulevard, we had a dirt race across the street, and then I ended up at the boulevard somehow. Yeah, the dirt race didn't go so well. <laughs> yeah, how did that not go, Bubba? Actually, the last time we went to Talladega dirt racing wasn't as awful as when you raced at Snoy. No, the Talladega experience that night Mark's talking about was pretty bad. Yeah, that's that's probably, that's, that was probably one of the most embarrassing moments of my ever in my career. When he gets out of his car, looks at it, and gets back in, it's not good. And puts my helmet on because I was so and, embarrassed. And the record driver toes him to pit road or whatever they got over there. Yeah. It took two records to get me there. <laughs> he was redder than I am right now. Yeah, I promise you. Hey, is Red Farmer still racing over there? Does anyone know? He is. Oh, yeah. He's still there going. He still at I know it. he was racing last year, but I don't know if he was still racing this year. Chase Chase tried yeah. to race this last one. He sucked pretty bad. Some uh, Turnbow I said I partied with him on the boulevard. Red Farmer signed my bull. Noah. The Derby. Your pole. <laughs> what? <laughs> Your pole? Yeah, the, the triple pole. <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, the second part we had that one year, he signed it. Red farmer <laughs> oh, come over. Uh, he, Red farmer come over uh, to the pits. He goes, "I signed the pole here in 1968, but it wasn't a pole." And he signed our pole for us. There you go. Uh, somebody just said Reds had some health issues earlier this year. Hasn't raced this year, to my knowledge. Somebody said. Yeah, I think he had some problems here here re recently. Is Holt on AOL dial-up internet or what? The race of life, Justin Holt, so quiet. Is he that has a country band real? phone. <laughs> Holt, is that one of those country hey, band hey. phones from the jail? TJ, you want to tell everybody how we met? Yeah. <laughs> So TJ, TJ, real quick, tell us the story of how you and Bubba Pollard met. Quick version. The quick version, yeah. Not look, don't give me the presidential. Not thing. the whole quick thing. version is. I'll tell you the quick version. <laughs> yeah, I'll let him tell you. Quick version is I was kicking that ass for him that day, and Buddy wrecks me, and puts me in the fence and kills my race car. Oh yeah. So I was pretty pissed. Killed it. Um. Was yeah. this was this that's a, a Matt? That's a, who, that's who a, was it? Yeah, Greenville record. Pickens. That was a two record day too. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That was a two record day too, and uh, I was walking across the racetrack because I was. Yeah, that was the first home. time with Redneck Jesus on the car. Yeah, was it? I was. Damn, what year was that? Yeah. Time you put 2018. Redneck Jesus. 2018. Oh shit! Is that true, Mark? Is that true, Mark? There's a chance. Do you think we should have Redneck Jesus apparel? Yes. Yes. That is, I don't know. What do y'all, I don't know. What y'all think? Absolutely. I yes. Know. I think it would go crazy. Yeah. No one's going to have to get some money off of it if we do, though. I was about to say, if no one made the nickname, you should no, use like no, collab. No. Is that like an NIL? Yeah. He needs an NIL? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little nil deal for Bubba. Yeah, tonight today we got a we got a, I said Bubba you're gonna come on and Mark sends an nil contract over that said 42 cases of beer and it damn sure was. It is. It damn sure was. Friday that don't come out of I didn't know. Slick either. Rick's back. I yep. sure didn't. Yeah. So make a long story short. I was going to go over and get me some, and uh, TJ told me to uh, to settle down. And uh, he told me, uh, I can't remember exactly. He told me, uh, did he did did I want to get embarrassed today? And I said I really didn't give a shit. And uh, he said, when I hit you with this taser and you piss on yourself, <laughs> you're gonna be embarrassed. <laughs> he went to tuck his wife in the bed. Thought about it for a minute. Yeah, I thought about it for a minute. I said, damn, this guy's serious. So I, I just a little well, you know, before but, but before that, and I can show you the pictures, they had us helping cook hamburgers on the grill. I mean, full uniform, gloves on, with a spatula in my hand. I'm like, what is this? You know, I'm supposed to be security out here. We're cooking hamburgers. I should have took this spatula and knocked me out. 
That car was pretty so, bad. So, that car was pretty bad, though. I think what made him most mad was when we got on pit road and people coming and trying to take pictures of the car. And God almighty. You know what's was... funny is that car still races today. I'm just not going to tell you which car it is. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, you hey, know which um, car it is? He's occupied. Yeah. I'm he's occupied. He's car. Um. TJ, so you, you've you got a lot of notoriety since, you know, people – I think a lot of people think that you're, you know, you are – you're, you're a Bubba Pollard fan, but some people, oh, he's just a super fan or he's this, he's over. He's – you're really – what you see is what you get. I mean, you're you're as genuine as they come when they come as far as a friendship-wise or, or a true fan. You got some phone? Yeah, I mean it's like I said, and it's it's for Bubba. It's for that, you know, the team, you guys and the family, just you know, the more notoriety can come to that team and help build that program. I mean, I'm nobody. Bubba and Holtz hold on, Bubba and Holtz having a stare off. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt you, but literally I was thinking Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That thing's like I think I turned into a bandolero. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> scary, you back. Joey, you're being quiet, Joey. You used to be like super, you were like wound up tight this past weekend, and Joey's like, I'm you know, you're being quiet. In fact, when we landed, hey, when we landed, when we, when I'm revved down. Okay, when we landed in Richmond, um, Hunter called you, and he's like, where are you? And he's like, I'm on 285. And he says, where are you at? I'm on 285. And he's like, what are you doing, going round and round and round and round? He said, are you drunk? I mean, it was kind of – Joey, where did you stop at? Tell them where you stopped on the way up to uh, Richmond. Yeah, right, so tell them. I got to uh, Kannapolis, North Carolina at about 9 a.m. And I've never been up there. I've never been up – you know, <coughs> no, nowhere around there. And they said, not a whole oh, lot. The exit I hit, they said, Hey, Earnhardt Boulevard, Earnhardt this, Earnhardt that. So I had to get on Google and I was like, Man, let me go see this joker, you know? So I went and saw. I looked saw up who? the king, the you real talk king. Dale. The king. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I went and saw him. And uh, man, it was a, it was me, him, and Burr Stripper. There was no one there. <laughs> it was the most beautiful thing you ever seen in life, man. I stopped my truck. I was when I drove. Did you Richard, have a bush light with Dale, sir? Do you have a bush light with Dale? I did. It was too early. But listen, listen. <laughs> well, I started drinking at nine thirty at Richmond after his stellar qualifying performance. No, oh. no, 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 no. So this is on the way up. So you guys were drinking because you guys landed at what nine fifteen. So I left at three thirty, and I got to Richmond about one. And, he only uh, popped his cab. He popped his cab. Hey, my wife texted me at the bar at three thirty and said, "Quit spending money. We're running out." <laughs> She sent an alert on your card. Yeah. Oh, oh no. She sent an alert to my text messages, though. Hey, so that makes kids? sense now. Could y'all yeah. not y'all not see Joey standing in front of Dale Earnhardt's statue in Kannapolis? Yeah. Hey, Just by myself. A, a full on conversation with him. It was me and three cards. Period. That was it. Three for Dale, baby. <laughs> anyway, let me tell you how oh, beautiful boy. it was. And then after I left, I get like. Two miles maybe out, and a turkey started gobbling on the side of the road. I had to pull over and take a film of that for my boys because we're all big turkey hunters, and they were fired up. I was like, I got this bird hammered in North Carolina. This is nuts, brother. This is nuts. And it was nuts, man. Beautiful drive up, drive down. Didn't go so well. Why not? Because I was hung up because Bubba decided, to, hey, let's get 19 fireball shots at 2 a.m. <laughs> And then go to bed. Do you know on the do you know on the flight up they didn't serve anything other than coke, water, and that was it. Like it was a very dry flight up. Go ahead, Bo. Hey Ty, you want a funny story? Here's a funny story. Okay. So yeah. I wake up in Richmond at 8 30 and my head's pounding. And I gotta go home. And I got, you know, I got a long drive ahead of me, okay? 
And then I got my boys, and I was like, all right, let me, you know, Bubba had texted me, Hunter had called me, Cole Pepper had called me, Mark Buckner had called me, and I missed everybody. So I wake up at 8.30, my head's pounding. I said, man, I can't do it. So then 10.30 rolled around. I said, all right, I could probably do it. I could probably do it right now, all right? And I called I called Bubba, or I text Bubba. He said, where you at? I said, I ain't left yet. I said, where are you at? And he said, I just landed. I'm almost home. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still well, that's in bed. Nine hours away. Nine hours away in Richmond, like with a with a headache you couldn't believe, kiddo. It was so bad. Like, it was it was no different than walking back Saturday in Saturday morning or Sunday morning. What's he what do you say? Is it was your headache worse Saturday or Oh Saturday? no, Monday Monday morning at work, I was yeah, it was bad. <laughs> and I came home and I had to put my baby boy to bed and I gave him a Bud Light hat and he yeah, he did his thing, man. He didn't how, yeah, this, hey, this, how about, hey, how look, about it? You guys are lucky I'm here. It's been a rough, I've still not recovered, honestly. I'm just surprised your wife ain't killed you yet. Listen, <laughs> I'm telling y'all, he's got the best wife in the world. <laughs> hey, let me tell you what, I outkick my I don't see how you ended up with her. She's the most beautiful. So at two o'clock, so at two o'clock, two o'clock on uh at two o'clock on Sunday afternoon. Uh, I'm walking back into the hotel and I see a guy lay, just laying out like this on the couch. It's God. His flight doesn't leave till seven. They kicked him out of his room. He's sitting on the couch watching TV. And I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Oh, so he God. comes. I, it was it, Garth just, he kind of hung out for a while. Reagan felt bad. It's like, come on, you can come up or whatever. Right, Reagan? I did. I sent him up to the room. He was like, popped out like this. Reagan, that's nice of you. Wait, what'd you say? When you come in there and door me in the right rear in the go karts, remember that? I got yeah. you. I did get yeah. you. Yeah, you got me. I lost two Worley spots. Was talking smack before we. Oh started. yeah, oh yeah. Really was talking smack, but he finished dead last in the B man. No, I didn't. Yeah, he's no, like, he oh, did. I used to be a driver. <laughs> I used to be a driver. I smoked him. Worley what was, was your um? Worley was hey, what was your? He used to be a six oh two driver. Y'all gonna get what me was your cart line. number? What was your cart number? I don't remember. Okay. I remember. I remember. Can I say it? <laughs> I remember. No. Nah. We tried to get we tried to get her in a 10, but we she's 10. Yeah. Another number. 10. It was like 36 or something. I like guess 36 divided by four. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> that, 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 that was quick. That was quick. That's really it. Hey, right, Bubba. You know the last time hey, somebody tell passed, him about, tell him about He's that a Silverado text. Gazelle. Oh, I've got some good Bubba stories. All right, I was gonna say tell him about tell him the last Two time someone passed thirty one cars in the Xfinity race. I got a history question for y'all. It wouldn't be yeah. Bubba. What is it? Past thirty. No, so he 31. passed one. Thirty one cars. You dumbass. Yeah. Hey, how many how many cars <laughs> was the last time someone passed thirty one cars in the Xfinity race? <laughs> I'm asking you, Bubba. Tell me. Huh? Last year. The last time somebody passed 31 cars and an Xfinity race. When was when? it? When? Yeah. Last Saturday. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, get right. Anyways, <laughs> that's Saturday night. Yeah. yeah, you did step on your dick. These, right? these two stories happen in the same night. So it's I only. I keep getting on your Only arm. me, Mark, <laughs> and Bubba. <laughs> Go up to Nashville and test. That was your spot, dude. We went up that the morning, podcast, tested, and drove down. all the way home that night. On the way home, go ahead. we're listening to <laughs> all this iPhone through the. And I'm like a shark. You yeah. probably live at the kids' pool, like Josh Giddy. I steal from the homeless. Can I take from the rich? I don't care. Have y'all ever heard of Sketch? What in the world just happened? What the hell was that? <laughs> there was no. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with Noah's arms? <laughs> Have y'all ever heard of Sketch? Noah's glitching. <laughs> He's flying. Is he doing a dance? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Noah's dancing. That's what I'm going to do. Where's that bitch at? Oh, boy. No, there's a guy on TikTok named Sketch. I'm going to break the morning and then all of a sudden something got wild. 
<laughs> he got cut off. <laughs> For real. It's, it oh, sounded crazy. like Tyler Sontag. <laughs> AOL was talking. What'd you say, Holt? <laughs> oh, geez. My teammate. We're on the way back to Nashville, and we're listening to the uh, the Morgan Wallen song "Silverado for Sale," and Bubba is as Look serious as can be. <laughs> I'm sitting on the, I'm sitting on the couch in the back of the toter. He turns around to me and goes, "Cletus." Please see Joe. What is a Silverado Gazelle? <laughs> a, a damn good truck. <laughs> Joey, that doesn't exist. That's so smart. <laughs> Silverado Gazelle doesn't exist. Hey, I didn't have there's, a choice. You hired this more of that, there, No, no. There's, there's more you. to that story. There's way more to that story. <laughs> you hired this son, bitch. I didn't have a choice. <laughs> There's a lot more to the story. We're going to keep it going, though. Uh, I don't even remember the other one with the 40 look, That was This ain't the best there is. just the best we got. True fact. <laughs> we got that one from Michael. Hey, I do want to give a shout-out to Noah. Real talk. For Christmas last year, we went out to Utah, and this guy hits me up and says, hey, you play golf? I said, What the hell yes. is that? He said, Yeah, I'm Tiger but, Woo. Well, right. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say that was probably one of the greatest times we ever had because he took care of us. I mean, who goes, who gets to go fishing in the middle of you know, the golf course and just, you know, you got people with earpieces coming up to you and giving you gloves. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to get in a lesson. And because I'm off, no, you can go ahead and admit it. I am awful. Like, awful. But I do appreciate you for what you did that day because that was one of the greatest days we have had. So I appreciate that. Noah, you have to show us the picture. Hey, no, Noah, hey. Noah, what what did he you what did you tell me? He he showed up looking like who? <laughs> you gotta show us the picture. Please show the picture. I gotta find the picture. I sent it. Oh, I look. I sent it to Bubba. I mean, I thought we were supposed to be, you know, all dressed over there. Noah comes in there. He oh, a teacher showed up like, Look at looking this guy. dapper that day. I was like. <laughs> TJ was looking like <laughs> from Happy Gilmore. Oh, boy. I see <laughs> TJ looked like Chubb hey. from Happy Gilmore. <laughs> and we had so much that was fun. great. That was great. Uh, hey. <laughs> Who's Zach? See, is Zach? Now. I even the Georgia Bulldog chant. See, uh, give me Alabama. I'll be out. Uh, hey, I'll be out there, and I, I'm coming to the to the next race. But hey, if y'all ever get to hang out with this guy, I'm telling you, he's like Bubba. You outside the track, just amazing, fun times. I mean, that was that that was great. I really appreciate, really appreciate that. Especially when the security guard goes, "Are y'all lost?" And I'm, saying, I'm like, "Oh God, this ain't good." Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate it. Fun. Uh, I, first of all, let me behind the scenes at the current podcast studio, studio over there where uh, Mark and them were at. <laughs> <laughs> they've, disappe- they've disappeared. Where'd they go? Good question. And Tom, we missed you, Tom. We know you had some important stuff. That we did miss your presence, but it looked like you had a great time. Oh yeah, yeah Atlanta, we? Atlanta was great, but uh, I was I was in Atlanta for my daughter's final volleyball uh, tournament of her life. Uh, she's uh, 18 and she's going to college next year. And uh, I was planning on flying out on Friday night, uh, flying back out of uh, Richmond on Saturday night, but I didn't end up getting credentials, so that kind of thing happens, you know. Damn, Bubba, drop that. Hey. Oh. Look! Look Yay! who we got. We know that guy. That's my, Alfredo. That's my Mexican brother. That's right. Hey, what's up, Alfredo? How tell, y'all do? Tell him some cuss Alfredo. words. Alfredo. No. <laughs> he said, "Tell us some cuss words." <laughs> Look, when he got here, he couldn't speak English. Now he all he does is cuss. No. All right. Gotta see y'all. 
<laughs> okay, like all y'all. That's what he did the whole race when we over there after the race. Listen, did I gotta go <laughs> get my kids. My wife's gonna be mad at me. Well, all right, Bubba. Right, thanks see for you us, I've been messing with y'all see too you. long tonight. Peace out. Peace see out. You. Later. See you, Montgomery. Did Alfredo go to the race? He signed yes, security. He, yeah, of course he did. Yes. He flew up with Sonny on the on the jet. Yeah, if yeah, you're looking at packs, it, yeah, in that video, nine, you look, right? <laughs> but all I know is you turn around and you sitting there saying, and Bubba's doing this like, who am I waving to? And it's like yeah, Alfredo, and he's going to like. <laughs> <laughs> so in that video, in that video that Molly made, <laughs> shout out to Molly. In that video, Molly made, when you see Bubba doing this and just waving, he wasn't waving at the crowd. That was just Alfred. Huh? He was the only one that was there. <laughs> yes. yeah. We're back. Oh, they're back. Oh, wow. Got him. Hey, hey, Mark said, I said, what happened? <laughs> Mark says, we didn't pay the fire bill. Hey, somebody grabbed me here by the fridge. Damn, fall, boss. Never mind. Oh, shit. I could show you all these empties we got. Y'all be like, dang, no wonder they quit. <laughs> Hey, what um oh shit. So Noah, how did Sunday go? Uh it was, it was not I'll be right back. it wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. We did how was the rain tires? 16th to 12th. That, that, we actually looked like professionals for once in in, in uh, NASCAR where we I thought we were all gonna go off into turn one and wreck, but uh it was actually pretty fun. You had to move around and, and then the bottom just started drying up and you couldn't see anything out of the windshield. It was a lot of fun. Um, it was a good time. The one cool thing was uh, Mark, bro, bro, in the shop on Monday was fired up over Bubba over the weekend. He was was he? He was all fired up. He, I saw him Monday morning. And he's like, man, how about Bubba? That was awesome. He was all fired. Up. Bro, bro was pumped. How'd you do in your restarts? Did you know what the restart zone was? Me, yeah. Every everyone fires. Everybody. That's that. Everyone fires. Early. Oh shit! That's a big topic right now. The restart zone. Do you agree with it? What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, I've I've won a couple of Xfinity races firing two three car lengths before the box. You you have to. Then when they're rolling it. to you behind you. You're in looking in the rear yeah. view. You're not looking beside you. It's happened so many times, but it just hasn't it hasn't been a big topic of discussion. But that happens every single week if you watch it every restart. There you go. What do you think, Reagan, about the restarts? You know, I couldn't tell you a single thing about it if you want me to you know, have a spell restart. <laughs> <laughs> Reagan. No scroll fire. I should not put my helmet on. No scroll fire. What I asked you the other week, what would you say uh, you do? I'm just a people person, Holt. That's all. <laughs> a person. Yeah, you're one people person. person. People, people just want people to do. Have people skills. Tom, what you what, got um, going on there, bud? Huh? What you got going on there, Tom? Like Inspector Gadget. <laughs> <laughs> there's no, like, there's oh. no telling. John, so, you, had your, you had your Starbucks lately? No, Ooh, he looked hard. No, he he looked hard like you could tell, dude. The friggin' the hotel we're in doesn't even have a goddamn microwave, so I can't. Oh, my oh. <laughs> yeah, good show, good show, good oh, show, Tom. Come on, oh, Sunday was what? Tom? Was we're freaking beer Tom. out liquor. Bye, bye, Tom. <laughs> That was a bit aggressive. Bye bye. Oh, he got yeah. Starbucks. Yep. Yeah, no. yeah. yeah. This shit's like forty degrees. I can't even drink it. Sorry. It's ten o'clock. <laughs> Holy crap! Wow. Yeah. Right. You got burnt for it. He's watching the well, sketch right now. I got one thing to just podcast. Salt like soft coffee. <laughs> oh, they're gonna know what is. Why what is he doing? What's this flapping on? What's he, what's he listening to? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. You know, everyone's back shot. You, hey, you a turkey bird. <laughs> Look at you. You eat more hot dogs than Joey Chestnut. Fat motherfucker. Why are you trying oh, to say that's, uh, that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's So that's what 
Yeah. That's what he's listening to, yeah. Sorry for cutting. Tuesday, Tuesday, cancel. Sorry for cut. Tuesday, Tuesday. Baltimore. <laughs> uh, 54, tickle. Baltimore, Baltimore. <laughs> Y'all need to check this guy's name, Sketch. Apparently so. He's hilarious. He's hilarious. I've watched him for like a week straight at this point. So if we end up in Talladega on the boulevard, is Noah in? When we? Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, are you in? I'm trying to figure out if I need what to date it is. I'll tell yeah. you. No, I need. I it's in a couple weeks, but you guys definitely need to come. But I need to figure out if I need to do just a mustache or a wig too. I think oh, go all out. You yeah, gotta go all out. It's no, Talladega. I gotta, I gotta be in disguise. You know, I'm. I gotta, I gotta lay low for a minute, you know? It's ta- three weeks. I used to tear that place up, Talladega. I love that. <laughs> that place. God. Now I gotta be. I say go all in. Now. Mustache, wig. I say, mu- I stay mustache and wig for sure. I'm gonna be I'll like go. Johnny Manziel in Vegas. <laughs> playing blackjack on the boulevard. No one, no one's gonna recognize you. You're good. First, no, first. I think it's fun. I like so, that. It's my favorite place to go to. It's a party with a race going on in the middle. There's no better place in Talladega. You guys better come. Yeah, there happens to be a race that weekend. And we could all watch Jacob Finch race the Arca car. Well, he have a team. Yeah, he. Re- he 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 has uh, on Tuesday uh, on Saturday. Do we have Jacob a teammate Saturday. at Talladega? What's that? Yeah, who do we have, have a teammate? teammate yeah, at Talladega. We start. Yeah, Gus Dean. Then he's screwed. There'll be the only two on the lead lap anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Noah, what's what's your thoughts on? No, that's Pensacola when Bubba finished. <laughs> mm. I don't know. Hey, all right, hold on, guys. Hold on just a second. Hey, hold on just a second. Y'all be nice. Look, for how long? Just got. Hold on. Well, hold on. I'm waiting for it. I don't know why the video is not showing up. Who's being me? Sure. Who's being me? Milla. I can see. I can see. see. There I is. can see you. Oh, it's the babies. Milla. Hey, baby girl. Hey, girl. We just hanging out. Hey, girl. Baby. <laughs> Don't hang out, baby. She <laughs> just, just heard Joey's voice. Got scared. <laughs> Apparently, Hunter. I'm not getting, I'm not getting that. Yeah. Uh, all right, go ahead. Back to your what y'all were talking about. Well, Arca. Yeah, Arca. I think yeah, no, Arca. no one was bowing out. It's it's hard to win, man, just because. There's a couple really good cars out there, but they're well, called fighter jets. Yeah, they're fighter jets. <laughs> space shuttles. Those aren't cars. They're more like they're more like space shuttles. That race was like watching paint dry. It was like a it was like a oversized shoebox with three horsepower. Like I do. The most entertaining wonder, thing was watching uh, Ryan try to fuel the car. <laughs> Mark, I want to see you in the race suit again. If you're the <laughs> should I should Talladega. I should I bring it Talladega. to Talladega? Talladega. You yes. should wear it down the boulevard and sign a bunch of autographs. Crew helmet and with all. the helmet. Yeah. Just helmet let him wear yours. With the helmet. You can be Mark and he can be you. I can't fit in those little things. Look at them. Some bitches hanging, hanging up. Just hanging up. <laughs> Hey, hey, where? Hey, hey Reagan. Reagan. Where, where, I'll bring where one. Can I, where can, can I, I find the, the um? Why am I hearing myself? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. Echo. Everyone's echo. Oh, Everyone's echo. Oh, you are too. I don't hear myself. I don't hear myself. I'm not. <laughs> Up there it went. Up there it went. <laughs> Hello. 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 Somebody, 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 has, somebody, has, somebody, has, somebody has, hasn't turned on their volume. volume. We've been good. Cancel. Been good. Cancel. Tuesday. Cancel. Tuesday. 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 Where can I Where find can the video, I find the video, video that has Chuck and his leg? His leg? Uh, you can probably just type that in and it'll pop up. Wait a second. 
I'm sitting down. Get my spot. <laughs> That's the new celebration. It's yeah. Th- I mean, that has to happen at least one time because. <laughs> We're gonna have to learn this dance or whatever the hell it is. This dance. You just do the. It's not a dance. Not a TikTok no. dance. It's no, not Mark, a dance. Not a TikTok guys, dance. One of you guys. One of you guys. <laughs> Mark, look, look up. Look up. Sketch. Hiking his leg. Hiking his leg. And you'll know what we're talking about. And you'll know what we're talking about. We can't hear a word you're saying. We can't hear a word you're saying. No, you got the Pollard. Yeah, you got the Pollard sweater. <laughs> Hey, I want to know one thing. Hey, I want to know one thing, Mark. Is uh, if Bubba's uh, here, if Bubba's here, here at the Derby this year? Are we gonna is it Bubba's Bubba year? Right? Yeah, are we going to see Bubba and Victory Lane at the Derby or Fuck. what? <clears throat> Fuck, I don't know. It's, yeah, I don't know. We'll try our best. I hear you. It's all we can do. As long as Nasty ain't there, we might have a shot. Yeah. Don't mention that name. God. I'm going down there this hey, year so- to test. I'm doing restart practice for about three days. So if you guys want to come watch, come watch. Restart, restart practice? practice? Because he has a I'm practicing, I'm practicing my shift down there for about three days, three days in December, December, December November, November. November. I thought you. I thought you. you got Jack. Got Jack. Got Jack got someone else. Someone else. That was you. That was you. No, no I, didn't I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't gear. I tore up the whole field. Huh? Huh? You'll have it. You'll have it. Why do we keep? Why do we keep? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody is saying. Is it good now? Uh, it's good there. So y'all hopping on. I'm on. I'm on. Add everybody back one by one. Are y'all there? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So some. Okay. Yeah. Somebody's got a volume up. To what it is. It's not us. So I have a TJ, question. There? Yeah. There. Yeah. Like on a like high, on a yeah. high level, level, it's still it's, it's still it's there. It was Tom. It's Tom. There. All right. Are we good? Yeah. yeah. All right. So on a hype level from like a, a snowball derby versus a Daytona 500, what is the difference? Um, There's going to be a difference. I think, yeah, I, I mean, I think the derby is just, it feels, they're both, they're both uh, pretty historic. Uh, but really what set in for me that makes the Derby so big for myself personally is winning it in 20 I'm back the next time we went back there and we missed the race um, in 2020 and walking, you know, getting there three hours before the race and parking down by the McDonald's and walking all the way to the racetrack. And then you're like, wow, this is pretty awesome. And I had never watched a derby from the outside or really got that experience so um that's what makes that one so big is just seeing when you're not a part of it being able to walk down there with race day and just see everything that you don't normally see as a driver when you're getting ready to go there's a lot of things that i don't see before a race i was talking to my crew chief about that today but i'm like dude did you know they had like concerts before these NASCAR races and stuff on the infield. I had no idea um, until I went to the Roval last year and got to got to go to my buddy Christian. He lives at the Speedway in, in Charlotte, and I watched the the whole Roval race, the Cup race, and they had a bunch of stuff before the race. So um, it's a big deal. The 500. There's a lot of people, obviously, and um, it it pays really. Well. It's the highest paying race, so um, yeah. know that you know. Know, you want to be rolling across the start finish you pace that race a lot different than you would um but to me i mean i've never obviously won a daytona 500 but to me probably a snowball derby one is is the biggest one of my career um and that's not taken away from trucks or xfinity stuff um but it's hard to do and and what really struck me is i was texting dale jr after we won in 2018 and it's like man they're 
there's a lot of good guys who have run this race, including my dad, that had never won it. Uh, that's pretty special. You didn't have your name on the trophy. I was like, man, that's pretty badass, you know? It's, uh, you don't think that that kind of stuff. So, I mean, there's a lot of hype and a lot more stuff. But I like the Derby just because you get to see people you haven't seen for, you know, a year since the last time you've been down there, and the crowd's awesome. It feels like a, I wasn't around then, but – what a 90s cup race would be um, back in the day, you know, grassroots level. I think the Derby's awesome, but obviously the Super Bowl of, of NASCAR and what you dream of racing when that's a kid, you know. So you said it's the highest paying race. Does it pay more than Norks Wilkesboro? Or what, the, like the All-Star race? Um, race? Yeah, the All-Star race pays a million bucks um, to the team uh, if you win it. And then the Daytona 500, I think, this year probably paid 2.2 2.3 million if i had to guess um and then to start the race i i don't know how i don't we don't really see all the the numbers on on the payouts and everything um um nascar kind of they don't publish that as much as they did in the past they kind of stopped doing that but i think it's like two hundred fifty thousand dollars to start um the daytona 500 like if you finish last you take the green flag and finish last um it's like two hundred fifty thousand of the team so it's pretty it pays pretty good where other races might be you know two hundred fifty thousand to win yeah. uh, for a regular race. so bj mcleod would have uh started and parked and made 250 at the daytona huh yeah like we it's big it. like in 20 in 2022 um i got like 20 it was like 20 or seventy four thousand dollars to finish uh 31st and then we finished fifth in the summer race there and i was like man this is gonna be it's gonna be pretty good it was like thirteen thousand dollars <laughs> that's how that's how, like, that's how much bigger the daytona 500 is um and i was like i was excited and then yeah, it's like, oh man, I should have. I wish hey. his roles reversed, you know. And all it is is, hey Mark, hey Mark, quick question for you. Um, Oxford two fifty is is that a July race? The Oxford two fifty is July. I think it's August. It's a, it's yeah, a see, August. I, was, I was just I was just looking. So July second, it says a seventy five lap qualifier for super late models. And then it's on July third. It's forty thousand to win three hundred laps for super late models. It's, that's got to be the auction. But the two fifty no, is no. in August. The two fifty. That's not the two fifty. They added yeah. a race for July. They have is a that a midweek race or no? <laughs> yeah, that's a Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, July third is forty thousand to win. Yeah, they have the same two big ones. TJ, tell about the is time the you pivoted on the uh, car. Berlin is like I think, like I, that I, think I did pretty good, Mark. Uh, no, hold on. Uh, no, Gar Gar Goth is uh, chiming in. He says Oxford to July race is forty thousand. Yes. In August, it's twenty five to win. Plus, they have like a hundred lap, hundred dollars per lap or whatever. It Correct. Is. Yes. <clears throat> so, so July second or third, which there's no NASCAR race that week. Why don't you? Why, no, what, tell your. Is it? Aren't you sponsored by some Canadians? Yeah, I run uh, Terry Jones and Mark Red's car, Red Jones Racing. That's that 30 car. Um, and then uh, we run that. At, we ran at the Derby, uh, Toledo last year, and Winchester, and, and North Wilkesboro. Are they super late models aren't going back to North no, Wilkesboro no. this year? Yeah, that sucks. I was hoping that they'd be back there. That'd be pretty cool. Mark, who? With it, Mark, who paid. parties better? Uh, would you say an Oxford 250 fan base or a uh, Snowball Derby fan base? Oxford. I don't know. I've seen goods in both. I think they both do a good job as the party and the, you know, just the atmosphere of both of them. They're totally different, but they're both good. Yeah. Both came. Where did Joe? Where Joey and Hunter go? They tap out. No, they're sitting behind us. Yeah, they're. Oh, okay. They're on. They're on hinge. 
I've noticed ca Canada. They, Canadians, they they all camp at the races. I went up and ran at Delaware Speedway up in uh, London, Ontario. It's like north of Michigan, like two hours. And I couldn't believe how many people were camping for their late model race and Pinty's race. Where And then you go up and I ran the trucks at... Uh, in Toronto at Canadian Tire Motorsports Park back in 2017, 2018, and they had like 75,000 people camping in there or something like that. It, I mean, it was packed. It's crazy how many Canadians in Watkins Glen, Michigan, um, New Hampshire, they get a lot of people that camp and party there too. I feel like they do it different up north. Maybe they just don't have anything else to do. And they're all cooped up during the winter. Well, it, <laughs> as, James, out, as James Finch would say, they've, uh, they've been cooped up and – love loving up all winter long and and the mama's got to get out of the house and play but um it is interesting that like berlin on a tuesday on a tuesday wednesday night when they do that 125 shootout and then the 250 there's like ten thousand people in the state. they pack it out or yeah, you see they, the, you, they, and they can't get they can't get a thousand people down south crazy it's just i don't know why the srx race at berlin was packed do you guys remember seeing pictures of that and yeah, and then the week after the did the, Bubba ever the run week SRX? Before, in Pensacola, he ran Pensacola. He did. But the week of the SRX at Berlin, the week before or the week after, remember, Mark, we were up there. He won the hundred lap shootout or whatever, and they were packed that weekend. Yeah, it was what, like two weekend, two weeks in a row. They sold the whole joint out. Whatever they do, they do it right because that atmosphere. Striegel does a good job. Is, yes. Yeah. Striegel does a really good job with that deal. <clears throat> what else, TJ? You're being mighty quiet. Hey, I've been on two tonight. You know? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I've been on two podcasts. Who's talking about me? No, that was fun going up to Oxford last year. Uh, I tell you, yeah. Two, talk about your experience. Talk was, about that experience. Well, let me just say, I love hope to death, but there is no <laughs> way. Yeah, I slept. Now I take, I slept with earphones. Plus a pillow around. I never heard so I was surprised we didn't get kicked out just from the noise. Like he was vibrating the windows. Yeah. And, well, and, and, the it first was fun chin, up there because it wasn't that bad. Now on the third chin, it's pretty bad. Jeez. But I will say you go up there and it's beautiful. And like we got to the racetrack and I've never seen so many campers. And you know, and Dolly, you know, she told me, you know, but you just like they had so much racing up there. They got cars like like super modified lawnmowers or something like it's all kinds of big. <laughs> <like that>. like, <laughs> and I was like, good gracious, you know, it's like, you know, I mean, I, I, hey, the lobster rolls are great, but it's like that Saturday you walking through the pits and, you know, and those people like you, they love racing up north. I was, I was impressed. And then of course, you know, picking you guys up from the airport that morning and just uh, that experience of uh, being able to help out and, Mark's, hey, make oh, sure the tires turn oh, this way. Make sure the tires turn this way. I'm like, I got it, Mark. I, I won't screw this up. What was your job? I'm pretty sure that we we were changing tires, and I look over to my right, and TJ is carrying the tire for Mark. And I'm pretty sure TJ had a tire in one hand and his phone <laughs> recording in the other hand. So he could be <laughs> being a tire carrier on the pit stop. At the Run a live stop. <laughs> well, that, I mean, that – that first one was that first one was you know it was you know i made sure because mark was like whatever you do i mean he was very specific i was like i, I, I promise you I ain't gonna which is the I'm only live pit stop race left for right, short which, track racing was, right and he says that and i'm like you know because you we start you started like with 30th and i'm just like so that was all like just seeing like hanging out with him all day and just seeing how like back and forth and just in the faces and the tents i was like oh god and he's starting 30th and i was like but hey, they won it one year starting 29. So that second pit stop, I was like, all right, because you need a tire and you gotta go get another. And I was like, do not screw this up. And of course, what do we have to do? We had none of the big stuff like everybody else. I don't think we had a light to even show Bubba where to come in. And I think I don't know if I was doing No, we were all walking time. around with the light, the light headlight yeah. lights that <laughs> it was our like, forehead. You know, but to see him drive from 20, you know, 30th all the way up to six before that wreck was just 
awesome. But it was a great experience. I'd love to go back up there. It was, uh, you know, and I mean, watching. Well, and the players. difference in the Derby, like, so all the Tup Cup teams come into the Derby, and, like, that's why it kind of got pushed out to go to a control caution deal and all this stuff. But up in Oxford, it's still, like, legit old school, like, oh, yeah. sling nap attacks around the race car, <clears throat> jack it up, average person changing tires, and that's what makes it fun. Hey, why don't why don't they do that? Because I thought that like obviously it's expensive with with bringing in the NASCAR teams, but why don't they make a rule where you can't bring it? Like I don't know how you police it, obviously, because that's awesome, the question. But like, can you how regulate? do you get live pit stops back to the Derby? Because I I felt like that was what made the Derby so badass. You know, I I agree, but can you regulate it? I don't know like, how you would regulate yeah. it unless you had. There has to be some sort of database where you can see who has a NASCAR, like hard car or whatever. Bob and they Hawkins can't go or something. Wall. You know, he, he gets all the rosters for all the No, a Harbor Freight Jack. Everyone to spec Harbor Freight Jack. But. <laughs> <laughs> he says everybody needs a Harbor like Freight that. Jack. Well, it wouldn't be fair to Holt. It wouldn't be fair to Holt because he couldn't do this the whole time, you know. Well, and <laughs> even, <a> pit stop. <laughs> even this past race at Pensacola where they only allowed you to change two tires was a big game changer versus everybody come down every 75 laps and putting four tires on. Right. So there was strategy played out, which I thought was Well, let me ask you. Let, let me ask you that question, Mark. Do you think that they should do away with competition cautions and allow a team to – if, hey, if this is a 10 tire race, you can do whatever you want to with them 10 tires and 200 laps. I think you still have to have competition if it's not going to be a live pit stop. Live, you, yeah. can't, you can't control the gas. Like you can manage your tires, but when you run out of gas, you run out of gas. And at that point, it's just going to become a live pit stop. But I think it was a way better race, is only allowing you to do two tires per stop. And it makes the strategy up versus everybody coming in every 75 laps and taking four tires. That's just a 75 lap race in my opinion. Right. You're just saving until whenever you think the last caution. Yeah. And they get yeah so, so would you, so would you take away the, you know? or let me ask you this. Would you take away the comp like this question here? No competition caution, only stage breaks. I feel like in the derby setting, that's almost the same thing. Yeah, because with the 75 lap deal, you kind of know you're going to go to, like, we had it all planned out this year where we're like, we know our window is going to be between lap, you know, 75 and whatever it may be, you know? And everyone's on the same strategy. I don't know. I Like, was it a big breaker for doing everything uh, and all that like how's that process and whatnot well it, it's not a big break but at the end of the day like we can't get what this guy can get right so when it comes down to four tire stops i feel like it's a track position race and if you can come out first and we come out fifth obviously you're better yeah you know, I so mean, that's the reason why we won the Derby in 18 from the final pit stop. We had a really badass pit stop and right the track position and held Majeski off, but he was better, you know. Yeah, I just don't think it'll ever get back to because it's a prestigious race in the South, everybody knows about it, and it's there's no way to regulate it. So it's just, I think right. the two, either has to be all or nothing. I, the the way I see it is like it's 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 the snowball derby, right? It's the biggest one. And I kind of agree too. Have like for have the live crew. I mean, you're spending enough money. What's another few thousand? You yeah. Know? <laughs> no kidding. Well, how much does a pit crew cost? I don't know, but nobody goes to the snowball derby because it pays twenty thousand, fifty thousand, or a hundred thousand. Right. They go for the one fucking trophy. Yeah. And that is it. That's all right. That's the only 100%. reason they show up. 100%. It, uh, 
Hey, you know when you're talking, I'm I can I'm watching this this thing when you just said the f bomb. It, do you know that closed captioning takes that off? That sucks. Continue on. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, huh, hey Hunter, are you still around, or do you have to call your girlfriend? No, I ain't got no girlfriend. I'm still here. You better be careful. She's watching this show. He still got his hat on. He sleeps no, in that hat. Look at that. Oh, that's old Bob Pollard. Other side. Hat. He sleeps in it. Yeah. No, I don't sleep in. By it. the way, by the way, um, if, you're for, if you're looking for it, if you're looking for the Need for Speed shirt two X, they've got them back in stock on BubblePollard.com. They're back. I think no. I need TJ. What? I need TJ to make me one of the Bubba eighty eight shirts or a sweatshirt. That thing was. I love that you one. one. That was sick. Why don't, have, why don't we have TJ swag? It probably sell. Yeah, it we probably sell. Sure sure. It would for sure sell. Hey, Molly just said. Molly just said, "Hope, wake up." <laughs> Why don't Molly join us for a few yeah. minutes? Represent her yeah. company. Come on, boss. He created. Yeah, uh, nine D. They did the video up. Yeah, the videos, the pictures we seen tonight. Yeah, I know the. So when we were talking about it earlier, I think something that would actually sell is if the redneck Jesus thing we did was a collab thing with since Noah made it and then putting Bubba on it too. Yeah, Noah be awesome. qualifies better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, where's Bubba the wins a lot more though. Joey? So so, uh, at, when was the last time Sony Xfinity went practice fastest and then qualified 37? When was the last time that happened, Joey? 1874. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, it ain't never happened. I'm just guessing. <laughs> just a guess. Pre Washington. All right, boys. I'm going to bed. I got some rookie seminar thing tomorrow. I got You're a rookie? And, uh, I guess if you are a if you weren't how was it? If you were a rookie from twenty nineteen or before and whatever series you're in, you don't have to go to the seminar thing, but we all have to go to some NASCAR rookie seminar because of COVID. They haven't done it the last handful of years or something. I don't know. But it's uh, it goes from 7 to 9 p.m. tomorrow. 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. tomorrow. 14 hours? Yeah. yeah. Are you able to have your phone? <laughs> They're probably going to tell you to not yeah. jump the restart. It, uh, I'm gonna try to find the yeah, he, he ground schedule. Dance. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Do you have to teach that dance to him? Yeah. Uh, um, oh, I'm sorry. It starts at 7 a.m. and then it ends at 8 30 p.m. No, oh, wow. Wow, there's a lot of rookie shit you need to learn. I know. There's a lot, but all right. I'm getting off. I'm going to bed. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, yeah, dude. You're the man. Right, guys. See ya. Appreciate you. Appreciate you coming on, Noah Gregson. Guys, it's been a freaking badass time tonight. I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm wanting a couple of more stories from Joey and Hunter and and uh and Mark and Grayson. Give me one apiece. Come on, give me one apiece. No, and Joey. I think first. Molly, I think Molly's gonna join us here. In just Molly a needs to come on with it. Malls, come on. Dude, I, I thought I was a fucking story. <laughs> Where did Come you, on. You got one in. You I got one in. I'm in Andrea this past week at all fan-like instead of spotter hat on. Tyler Tanner had Tyler Tanner has some good stories, too, from this past weekend. Oh, he enjoyed himself. Him. Yeah. Yeah, he had a
Did y'all see that? That was pretty good. That was the uh, video that she made. All right, you're up. All right, let's go. Let's hear it. What? Molly says, hey, first of all, Molly says we're running on fumes. No, we're not. Nope. Not well, happening. No. Hold on. We don't run on fumes. This, yep. this is the high this, octane. This is a uh, behind on, the scenes. <laughs> this is a behind the scenes look at the podcast booth. Yeah, this shit gets wild, wild right here. Wow, that's only one side <laughs> of the table. One side of the table. <laughs> Molly says. Molly says we're running on fumes. <laughs> And Bubba says he's laying on the couch with no shirt on, thinking about joining back. Yeah. <laughs> Is that weird or not? I'm not sure. I think yeah. it's pretty weird. If Tom would have said that, it would have been weird. Did y'all get the picture today? Tom sitting on the beach with his, with his shoes, <laughs> his yellow <laughs> socks. Like, who does this? Yep. I'm pretty sure it's all uh, background pick now. Right. It's raining, and I'm on a yeah. side-by-side. Yeah, it's raining. It is. Don't make it our problem. That's right, kid. Well, boys, I really thought Molly would call in. She's yeah. not. She's not. She's backpedaling. She ain't about uh -huh. it. Come on, Molly. Are you, like, calling or calling her now? Uh, I'm going to leave, too. <laughs> I gotta get ready for You're on. Day. You're on. Huh? We're losing viewers. <laughs> well, now that you're on here, we're, we may get more viewers. I don't see her. We're probably losing viewers because it's 1030. It's what are you doing? You're on the telephone, and I've got you up to the podcast, mic, so they're hearing everything hey, we're boss. talking about. Yeah. Hey, guys. Why didn't you join us? Hold on. Hold on, Molly. Go ahead. Try it now. Guys, can y'all hear no, no, no. Molly. Oh, I hear him now. Yep. Why aren't you on there with us? Oh, I don't know. We're losing followers quickly. Because it's 1030, <laughs> not because we're not cool. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to go back through this podcast and see if we're going to get banned. We're two and a half hours in. Yeah. We're, we're, we're way past that point. I'm still on my way home from Richmond. <laughs> yeah. I got four hours left. Oh, Lord. All right. Molly, Molly is the brains behind 9D Creative, so appreciate you doing all the hard work you do for Man, us. Man, I, I just wish I had a 9D Creative hat. That'd be kind of nice. They're for sale. Go to 9DCreative.com. It'd be better than this $32 hat. Hey. I got it. <laughs> yeah. Send your grandpappy. Send Pappy a video right now. Give him a beer. A video? What am I going to do? With all right, we'll talk to you later, Molly. Okay, bye. 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 See you. All right, guys. Well, hold on just a second. We're winding down. Can y'all hear me? I got to go find we, supper. We got you, Ty. All right, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for joining the Time Time Uncut and Unfiltered podcast. It has been one hell of a night tonight. We've been on here for two hours and 24 minutes. We've had everybody from – we. let me just recap what we've had. We've had – started off with Hunter and Joey uh, telling – Stories about Kevin Harvick and visiting Dale Earnhardt and how Hunter has a wonderful hinge account and FaceTime. Yeah. 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 Then we went on to uh, – we had Noah Graxton stop in. Then we had Reagan, head turner, niner, nine head uh, – Reagan turner uh, there. Then we had Action Jackson join the show. Then Mark – actually part of that, Mark and Grayson joined it. Uh, Grayson got rehired on Monday after getting <laughs> fired. Uh, Mark just trying to keep the shop going. Uh, Tom from uh, Time Time Uncut and Unfiltered, and then we have Bubba Pollard join the show. There we got TJ. Oh yeah, sorry, Bob Sargent joined the show. Lloyd uh, Spotter Lloyd tried to join, he couldn't get in, and then of course we have B Man B Man uh, Holt. Uh, join in. It has been one one hell of a show, and you we need to do this more often, guys. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. I'm down. Definitely. And and more importantly, I think that we need to do it live from the Dallas from Talladega on the Boulevard. Set it up, and oh, sorry, 
Rick, Ricky Culpepper said, "No Ricky Culpepper though." Oh, yes, Rick, Rick. Ricky. <laughs> hey, Patreon. Ricky, Ricky Culpepper did show up, and up. and we had we had remote Garth from from Maine pop in and say hello. So, but I think we should do a live podcast from the Boulevard in Talladega. You're sure? Set it up. Let's do it. You're sure? We'll probably have to have a bunch of sensory <laughs> buttons. You said live, right? Yeah. That's not yeah. appropriate. <laughs> well, we might have to do a delayed tape. Yeah. You're welcome. So not live. <laughs> so probably not live, but it'll be very quick live after that, yes. But we appreciate hey, thanks it. for Ty, you the man. Appreciate it. DJ, appreciate you everybody. It's the time time uncutting unfiltered podcast. Uh, coming to you tonight. It's been a great show. It's been fun. Uh, I hope everybody has enjoyed it. And uh, we'll talk to y'all soon. Next Tuesday night, join us right here for the Time Time Uncut and Unfiltered podcast brought to you by Phoenix Water Solutions. So uh, have a great night.